Hello everyone and welcome to the Maids of Roswald. Back again after quite a little while of a break. We had a, some we had some stuff come up and uh you know, we're back at it with uh with another stream. We're going to see the consequences of our uh our actions today. But for right now, a little bit of introductions are in order. I am Wooten playing as Maiden Heaven. Below me is Ebby playing as uh, Flor no, no, uh, Flam you can von Arnold. I had to. <laughs> it's been such a long time. I actually had to go over to the handouts. We have below Ebby. We have uh, Goody playing as Florentina, Charlotte, Vishalbron. What's up, greenies? We back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that. We have Chaotic playing as Leona Augustine. Pleasure as always. And we have Kai playing as Rena. I'm dying. Don't and of die. course, over on the right hand side, our benevolent DM of the evening, Solar. Oh, hello. I'm the GM. Mm. Oh, are you constipated? So, benevolent GM. <laughs> Are we facing the consequences of our actions today? Uh, well, I don't know. That's up to you, Wooten. Uh, but I can give you a little recap here for everything that happened last time. I just want you to start off like being all, Oh, hello, guys. I'm the DM. And you're all about to die. I'm <laughs> <laughs> already is... dying. That We're is my shame style, your... I like to think. I'm going to just shank all your loved ones. I'm just going to face the <laughs> full life that. consequences. It's time. Turn on off the computer. It's time for full life consequences. I am the femboy of consequences. <laughs> what that um, um, anyone else got a boner from that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ! What do we? Mean? I can't believe. It. <laughs> anyway, uh, so last time. The maids continued to work towards their goal of finding a cure for Elia, as well as preparing her and the boys, Averin and Theo, for the coming dinner with Duke Corathus, who returns from the war in the north. The maids entreated the aid of a northerner, Enam, a wise sage with the body of a deer, who the Cullens claimed to have the powers of hindsight who could possibly determine the origin of Elia's blighted bloodline. After Florentina struck a deal with him, he used his magic to peer within and find Elia's past, her father Alvor's past, and there he discovered nothing. A lack of something. The essence of absence, the meaning of void, formed into a single black mark upon her form. Whatever it was, it shook him to his core. But the spirits managed to give him one insight, that traces of whatever created Elia's bloodline lingers in the north. With that fact in mind, most of the maids felt urged to seek this truth out, in hopes that it may yield a cure. And with that hope, that conviction in your hearts, you swore allegiance to Elia, picking her of the three children to be the new queen of place you're from. Despite her affliction, despite all the that say her remaining years are few, you picked her. And she will be the one to bear the weight of the crown. Alea Iacta Est. And so, can you say that you last part in English? The die has been cast. Okay, cool. <laughs> now we'll figure out whether it was a 20 or a 1. Indeed. 
So. Let us move back right to where we left off. So. Now that that has happened. You have just all, uh, all those outside have kneeled to Elia and swore your allegiance. Uh, I'll go to Flam because you were, uh, not, you were not here for the very end last time. Mm -hmm. Um, so you went in with the boys, but you, uh, you heard everyone swear allegiance to Elia, uh, picking her to be the next queen. And also all the ideas about going to the north. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose this was uh, uh, communicated through the um, yeah the the the, the so collective the, telepathy. Yeah. I was gonna say polycule. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong campaign. Um, uh. I wouldn't say no. Wrong campaign for now? Question for mark? now? <laughs> God. <laughs> No, I was uh, legit looking for it. Was it like, it's, it, is it Polkiel? No. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm not start developing telepathy. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, but um, I'm thinking that probably while still making sure the uh, Theo and... I forgot his name, sorry. Uh, Averin are... Are doing okay? Just uh, let the collective know that. Well, Flam doesn't hundred percent is is on board. She she's okay with it, this course of action, if that makes sense. Technically, Leona's had a very very straight has a, had a like a one hundred and eighty degree turn on this, so that's mm -hmm. probably a bit surprising as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Leona was thinking on Averin, right? Yep. Yeah. And it's like, it, it's, it, it is more of a, if, if this can work out, I am 100% on board, but it's because we don't know if it can work out that I'm skeptical-ish. Well, anyone that wants to end up approaching her about it can. She might also speak to someone. We'll just have to see what happens. But. Mm -hmm. hmm. And uh, I also want to ask uh, if, if uh, that's okay, Solar. Um, the the these two heard anything else or ask anything while I'm, you know, away from the group? Um So they heard the ritual that Enam had, but I think after that you took them inside. Mm -hmm. So um no, they don't know the choice you've made, but they I think both of them are quite quiet as well. They're trying to figure out what in the world does that mean? What Enam said. It doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. You can see their faces are filled with concern and worry, but don't know what to say. I, I will try to soften the blow a little bit, um, seeing that, you know, that kind of... Um, uh, rituals are sometimes uh, a bit of an exaggeration um, of, of events. Um, now, is that a bluff check or a diplomacy check? Yes. Sounds uh, like a bluff to I, me. I, 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 I will try to probably sprinkle it, uh, like maybe making up, making up a story of, uh, of um, like, any myth I have heard of the, of the Northern Realms, like, we, we probably right. may have, yeah. All right, go ahead and roll me bluff. Oh no, that's the one I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Charisma. Come on. <clears throat> Wait, no, 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 no! It's, it's, it's... God damn! If that's the <laughs> one you don't have, <laughs> I want to know which ones you do have. <laughs> well, so, so close. <laughs> So close. Unfortunately, the answer the the, the DC was sixty nine. Right. <laughs> it's a it's a seventeen. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me just roll there. 
their <laughs> sense motives. They're need children. To find them. <laughs> Let's ah, see. Ah, where are their shoots? You have an Abram, advantage. Abram Slum. has class levels. He's a man. True. True. <laughs> they trust me, right? You, well, you have an advantage, Flem. <laughs> They're children. It could decrease the DC if they trust you. That's you know, I'm their babysitter, could. so... Technically, they're children. They have minuses to their mental stat. Technically. <laughs> well, yes, technically. Technically, yeah. Um, I know uh, Theo does have class levels as well, but... Yeah. yeah um, anyway, I can't find his sheet right now. I will just... I don't think... Ah. <laughs> so, uh, Avon out. got it. Uh, oh, wait, does it, does bluff beat? Uh, it's meat or it, it's it, meat what you rolled. But who's who? meeting who? Uh, who's meeting who? Right. Um, Probably the attempter. Give me a second. <laughs> Uh, I would maybe think that I like, by bluffing bluff. don't by bluffing you impose the challenge to be set right. Okay. I'm pretty bluff, sure it would be that Avrin met and he wins and he can see through it. Oh, mm. okay, okay, okay. So uh, some skill checks are opposed by the target skill check. When making an opposed skill check, the attempt is successful only if your check result exceeds the result of the target. Mm. Right. Okay. So, so in other words, the bluffer sets the DC. Yep. Okay. Mm. All right. So you see uh, Theo um, in his silence doesn't seem to uh, like he seems to uh, get it to feel reassured mm -hmm. your words. But uh, Averin uh, is a lot. He, he's like he's a bit he, skeptical. He's skeptical. You can kind of just hear him go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Right. He doesn't say much more. I, I just wanted to, want you to know that nothing's gonna happen to you or your sister. You're all gonna be fine. Okay? Now is that a bluff? <laughs> Yes. Uh, no. That, that was I, believe it, I believe that it. I believe it. 100%. That is a <laughs> promise. And I will fucking die in this hill, Solar. That's fair. Um, They give a nod to you. They uh, don't. They, they don't really uh, have any reason to doubt you. You're their ever powerful mates. You'd never fail them. Right? Right, exactly. I hate you. So, I guess right. with that, um, <clears throat> Leona will end up standing after. Well, actually, we'll probably wait until Elia says something. Never mind. Um, Elia is wiping away her tears. Um, are you? You will still kneeling. To her? Uh, yes, nothing's changed as of the moment. Right, okay. In that case, um, she looks to all of you and just... Oh, for Sela's sake, get up! In three weeks... You, you should never have to bow to me. And she kind I, of pulls you up. I will take her hand to be pulled up. Hmm. If there's one thing I've learned through my studies and through my life so far, that is what will make you a great queen. Well, I hope you're right. Well, that just leaves a question. What do you intend to do now? Says uh, Strewworth, who also knelt with you, now stands up. I must say I cannot condone you gallivanting off to the north just now. You have a great many other duties, headmaid. Of course. But when 
Elia does sit the throne, I suppose it will not be to me to order you about, will it? I suppose not. And, as to your statement on duties, with this said and done, that means that there is much, much to prepare for the... He's the, a Duke Corthus, right? Duke Corthus. Making sure of I remember. magic. <clears throat> now that more of this is said and done, there is much more to do and prepare for Duke Corthus's arrival. There is indeed. Remind me, was Struworth part of the collective? He is not. Okay, he has nothing to say. Yep, he. Uh, the, the maids are the only ones I ever just do. If if he asks, I think I have the room technically, but he, he would have to ask. She doesn't impose that on him. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh. He reaches into his coat pocket and pulls out the... Where is it? Yeah, she can have up to nine members, so... Uh, All right. Yes. And he... is going to offer it out to one of you, whoever wants to take it. This is for Elia, though, given all you've said... I do not think it would be wise for her to hold on to it. So, perhaps one of you can in her stead? Okay. Bless you. Eh. Bless that was you. not me volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. And okay. And step forward and grab the signifier of the air. You take the signifier of the air. It's like a little, it, yeah, it's like chess a little uh, chess piece on a, uh, it's got a, like a chain to it so you can wrap it around your neck. It's a necklace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little, go ahead little and, amulet. We'll go ahead and uh, just stash that away for a little while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I will say, I, I don't know if you have any, uh, do you have any magical senses up right now? There's only one person in this party that detects magic, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, I know you have some special glasses. You have a special brand. Um, oh, I mm -hmm. I could. Although I remember, I think I looked. I think I looked at it earlier, and it was magical. So we also know yes. not to have it on those of us who have it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is true. That is very true. Anyway, yeah, yeah you just stow it away. Poison accessories. Because otherwise the magic might do things to her. We need to take care of that first before she gets it, so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, Leona sighs. She puts a hand to her chin for a moment. There's a lot that we have to sit there and make sure we do, so it's time to start putting it in order. And she will start putting orders out through the collective. Excellent. It's essentially more about cleaning things, checking the stock, and making sure that we have everything uh, that will need to be ready and, you know, in easy order to prepare for when the Duke actually arrives, who we don't know when exactly he'll be here. So we need to have everything, you know, ready to be able to be done you, ASAP. You, you do actually know when he'll be here. Oh, uh, I, I thought I remembered that it was, uh, I, th I thought I remembered it was like, you know, we weren't quite sure. Uh, you weren't quite sure, but then you got a confirmation from Captain Sturvin right. via a message. Uh, two days when that happened, this is day one, tomorrow will be day two. Uh, this is day one, tomorrow will be day two, got it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we will still need to make ch check of the inventory, make sure we have everything as... You know, ready for the um, for the for the dinner meal, and obviously, you know, planned when to have that done. More of the castle cleaned up, the places, find a room for the duke, and figure out where the duke and his entourage will be staying. 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, just a flurry of information as just every th- as she just starts doing what she normally does. And then we'll have need to have some words with both Elia and with Enom. So she will. All right. Good deal. So first things mm-hmm. first with Elia, I will sit there with her and go. Should your grace have the time set aside this evening? I would like the chance to meet with you and speak on Duke Corthus's arrival. That we might work out some details that I might aid as best I can. But of course, um, anything to uh, help make a better impression, right? That is going to be the most important part, yes. I've only heard... Uh, a few things about Lord Corathus. He's been fighting in the north most of my life, but uh, I've heard that he's a very intelligent man. And a powerful mage. Used to be a good friend of my father. Mm. Perhaps that can be leveraged. Should there then be the time this evening, we will meet in the... I would assume it would be the sitting room, the common room, the area up front with the fireplace. Sure. sure I'm assuming course, that's the common room, this place. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will ask her if she will meet me there, and then um, I'll ask if, if it'd be no trouble as well. Might we both speak with Enom on the next matter of what what we what we shall have to do with him? Yes, that is a good point. Yes, let's do that. I don't think it would be a good idea for Duke Corathus to know he is in the castle. Given his, uh, well, current ambitions in the north there's much to work out there i'm going to kind of look around at everybody else and kind of just almost like uh you know you guys off to do the jobs this this you know <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> let's get things done yeah let's get things done chop chop yeah. fair enough mm-hmm. yes, ma'am. okay unless anybody has something specific to say and remember you're through the collective so you can all still telepathically talk so <laughs> All right. That's mm. actually a rather u- unique and useful thing of the telepathy in the sense of, sure, by decorum, it's time for you to leave, but you always have the ability to still put in your thoughts. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. What did he like for dinner again? Stroganoff. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> do, do you need me? Make, do you make need sure me? that that's ready, but that's not tonight's meal. That will be when the Duke arrives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start prepping. If yeah, need so... be... Uh, go on. Go I was on. just going to say in the collective, if need be, my forge area is big enough to where we can house uh, Enom for the time being. Okay. Good. Thank you for the suggestion. Do you need me to do something in particular? Make sure that Theo and Avrin are comfortable in a way where they wish to be for the moment, and... Continue to make sure that the castle is spick, span, clean, and perhaps find empty rooms or available space for the Duke and his entourage. Check the stables, muck them out, perhaps, if you have the time today. Count how many spaces we might have available for any mounts or steeds that might be they may be bringing with them. Hmm. Sure, I can maybe keep the, give them entertain if, uh, if they help me out. If they wish or, to aid you, I would not be remiss. Of course, accompany them. Uh, like, have them accompany me too, so they can learn about these things. Laurentine has left to ensure that the that the uh, bathrooms are immaculate. All immaculate right. bathroom. 
Um, okay. Uh, so, there is one other point I'll put forward. Since it was put up last time, I just want to make sure... What, see, like, make sure we'll see what you guys are doing about that. There was some talk last time of trying to get in contact with Zane. Is that still something you wanted to do? I appreciate you reminding us. It's most definitely something I think that we should do. See if there's a way we can send a messenger or perhaps one of the guards as a messenger. Mm. Or we have a sending scroll. We buy a sending scroll and we send a message to him. You you have a lady who stockpiles sending scrolls. Right. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's hell very good yes. to know. <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> you, she's the court mage. She does all of the magic utility. That is totally fair. Okay, we'll, mm -hmm. um, I guess we'll discuss out of character and in the collective who's going to go ask what and this and that, and we'll figure that out. One of you guys can definitely go to talk to her about that when you have the time during your things, whoever wants to. So in the meantime, I'm going to end up doing this with Elia and Enom to work it out. So Cool. Excellent. Um, all right. If uh, you ask that of... Uh... Theo and Averin Flam, if you would just ask them to come with you. Um, Theo seems okay to do it, but Averin... Averin uh, is kind of sheepish and just like, he sounds like... He sounds like there's a lot on his mind. And mm. he would... He, he just asks you if he can have some time alone. Of course. Just um, stay out of trouble, and I never get in trouble. <laughs> That's a bluff check. Gonna raise uh, an eyebrow. <laughs> I, I I don't need to roll since motive. <laughs> I already <laughs> don't trust it. <laughs> it's just that that look where like uh, he rolled a zero. It's just a look where her gla her glasses kind of like s like slip down a little bit. She raises an eyebrow. He never gets in trouble. <laughs> Huh. Just take your time, and if you need anything, I know any of us can um, help you with whatever. And if you want to entrust her as well, I think Florentina would be more than happy to help you with any concerns you have. Of course, right. I, I I think I'll just go and... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walks off. And I'll look at Theo and ask him if he wants a um, uh, piggyback ride while, while, we, uh, while I just do all the, the chores. Uh... Yeah. I like being a yeah. pig right on, on the shoulders because that's easier for for Flam probably. Yeah. You, you give him uppies. Yeah. Hmm. And uh yeah. Okay. He helps he helps him reach the tall uh the tall places. Yeah. Which you're already tall, so you know which, which, extra which, height <laughs> which which the six foot eleven woman you can, can probably not <laughs> you can help her. he can help you by casting by trying to cast prestidigitation on them Ooh, yeah. on the prestidigitation places. literally says it cleans things so you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, that, that would be a good chance to encourage him to use his magic mm -hmm. get him a little uh, practice you know all yeah. right okay so uh let me see. We've got the talk with Enam. We've got Florentina down here in the bathrooms. And uh, who wanted to be in charge of uh, trying to figure out what's going on with the uh, Zane business? Maybe Made in Heaven? I could probably do that, yeah. Normally you okay. just do forge work otherwise, but I don't know if there's anything specific to do right now. So you could handle that. And then Flam is handling Chet and um, 
Reina is handling dinner for the night as well as uh, rearranging the stock so it'll be nice and easy and quick to get everything together and going when the Duke arrives and <laughs> checking if there's anything last minute things to pick up. And Flam is ch checking the rooms and the stables to count the number of free beds available and muck out the stables and find and how many spaces are available for mounts and steeds. Mm -hmm. So Maiden Heaven's the only one that doesn't have anything specific that you're doing right now. So. All right, good deal. Okay. I'll go ahead and uh, move myself over there. That. Okay. Right. That's okay. Um. Yeah. So, who would like to go first? Who wants to handle what? I'd imagine Elia and uh, Elia and Leona talking to Enom would happen pretty much right after everybody scatters. So yeah. very well. Yeah. Then let's do that. Uh, so, if assuming you're still out in the courtyard, um, yeah, I'll have Struworth with you for the time being. Um, Enom, uh, he's 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 kind of. Uh, off in his own thoughts, you can see he's obviously been shaken by something. He's just, like, got his hand to his chin, and he's just thinking deeply. Such a reaction, I don't believe, is something that could be faked easily. She says, looking at him. She, her demeanor, you know, having broken a little earlier, has returned. Back to her stone-cold sort of gaze. Hmm. Yeah. He looks up halfway through your uh your uh, your statement realizing that you were actually talking to him. Um oh. Y yes, I uh I assure you I have no intention of lying about such a thing. Even if you did, I don't think you could have there. No. It is, uh, not right to lie about what the spirits have to show you. Mm. At least in my beliefs. But, uh, I, uh, suppose I understand your choice to not let me end our contract prematurely. Very well. I do not know what you intend to do with the information I gave you, but so long as you hold up your end of the bargain, I'm not sure I care anymore. Our end of the bargain... Slightly. Our end of the bargain will be maintained, ensuring that you return to your lands and return for what you have, you, you have done and may continue to do. I'm... I'm trying to remember what the hell I already just said right there. Hold on. My <laughs> brain stopped working. Um, <laughs> it's all right. <clears throat> our end of the bargain will be held up. The service that you've done and may continue to do will be repaid. I will make sure of it. I... Good. Though I... I must say I am... Not... What's the word? I am not, uh... Very... Looking forward to the idea of doing anything like that again. I do not if believe we honest, will... I do not Go wish ahead. to... Sorry, he was just saying, if I'm honest, I do not wish to... Whatever the spirits were trying to show me there, I, have, I think I have seen enough of it. I do not believe we would need to ask that of you again. I believe the only thing that would be left would be that wherever this, what it, where the location the spirits seemed to be attempting to guide you, would be that when we come to release you back to the north, to your people, to your lands, that you would... Guide us on our way when we do that, would be the last portion 
At which point, you would be free. That is... agreeable. I... am unsure of how much help I can be beyond what I have given you already. But I can try. You can be a coat rat. <laughs> 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 oh, That's God. very rude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> kind of racist. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of, kind of racist. Not gonna lie. It's fucking the one of those. I'm allowed. <laughs> 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 I, I have the D word pass. <laughs> oh my god! See, it's right here in Boston. Everything. <laughs> in the meantime, though. I'm sure that you heard that we were speaking of a man named Duke Corthus. Yes, he will be visiting in a few days' time. And we will need to find a place for you to stay while he is visiting. After which, assuming that everything is said and done, and we work, and everything else is handled here, being able to bring you back to your lands should be possible after that. Can you roll me a sense motive, please? Sure. Twenty-eight. Uh, you can very easily tell that when you say the word Duke Corythus, his jaw tightens a little bit. For good reason. Noted. Definitely noted. Uh, I... I will do whatever it is that you deem necessary. I... Well, I cannot complain, as nothing is worse than a cell. And finding a place for you to stay while he's here will definitely be useful. Mm. Um, I'm just trying to, I feel like there's, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to say something. I can't quite figure it out. Okay, take your time. How about two cells? Nah. And it seems rather clear to me that you understand why we would find somewhere to keep you out of the way. I can assure you that I have no interest in speaking to that man. Then we're in agreement. It was suggested to me by Maiden Heaven that perhaps we would be able to house you in the forge, keep the doors closed during his visit. Although, until that were to happen, I don't see any problem with allowing you to remain here in the courtyard, were you to choose to do so, beneath the open air. I think I would like that. Thank you. You may stay um, here in the courtyard then, and when the Duke arrives, we will house you in the forge, keep things locked, some guards on duty say that there is work being done that requires the forge area to be closed. And of course, as a guest, he has no reason to go snooping about, or n neither he nor his entourage have any reason to go snooping about. Hmm. If you say so. You kind of get the idea. Adding on to your uh, high roll last time, kind of get the idea that he's not entirely one to believe that. <laughs> he seems distrusting. Um, but other than that, you don't really uh, get anything. Oh, and I promise, I understand politics well enough. I know that people are going to try and do silly things. That's why we have the guards. And or one of us. We'll have mm -hmm. to, we just have to figure it out. 
Yep. So, of course. if need of be, course. I can stay in there. He won't. I'll make you sure the, he doesn't do you anything. You are the forge master. So. I'll make sure he don't do anything. <laughs> Nobody comes snooping in trying to find something they're not supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Wow. If you... Ellie. Go ahead. Go on. No, no, no. Sorry. What I was going to say was just to look to Elia and say, is there anything that you wished to add on, Your Grace? Um. She steps forward. And looking up at Enam, she performs a very courteous bow. I know not how to thank you in your culture, but all I can truly say is that I am very appreciative of everything you have done and the pain I have caused you. I am sorry. I... I would like to say that one day I would hope for there to be peace between our peoples. I know that the North is not a tall country unto itself, but even so, I wish for good relations during my rule, with all our neighbors. It is... very strange to hear one of your clan say that. Many of your kind don't really see my people as a civilization, I believe the word is. And that is what I wish to change. She smiles up at him and walks back. Stand by you. I believe that then should conclude this meeting. There are several of us about, always doing our duty to the castle. Should you have a question, Enam, or perhaps require a bite to eat, something to drink, merely ask and we can provide. How very kind. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. You are a guest, of course. It is expected. Well, I suppose this country does have guest rights. Who knew? And he, uh, walks off to, uh, just admire what's over here in the garden, see what this, uh, old, uh, well is. Mm. Just, you know, enjoying being outside. Then I will see you in the common room this evening, Elia. Of course. She nods. And I'm not sure what I'm doing right now, so go ahead. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> uh, she was just saying, for now, I think I will go and I would like to have some discussion with Hecker. Pardon me. Am I, am I saying the right name? Hecker? Yes, I believe that yes. was her name. Ah, ha. Yes, okay. I had, a, I had a mind blank there. It seems to I be a normal like, thing today. It is. I would like to discuss with you what you make of all this from a more uh, scientific position. I know not much of spirits, but I can speak much on blood. Come, I will make you some tea. Would you like an emotional support rat? Yes, I would. There are yes. Hello, support I am rat. emotional support rat. How are you? <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna be the emotional support rat for Northern Campaign. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. All right. So, uh, with that, does that conclude your um RP there, chaotic? Yeah, far as I'm aware, and I will um 
probably check to see if Flam is counting the room. What what she's doing specifically, because then I'll just start doing the other thing. So if she's counting the rooms, I'll start with the stables. If she's doing the stables, I'll uh, start counting the rooms. Probably she's doing the rooms because that that way she can like uh, converse with Theo or or uh, help him with his magic. Then she goes out to start counting and cl- cleaning the stable, mu- cleaning and mucking the stables. Okay. Which means you'll have to switch into some boots. As, you know, don't want to get the maid dress dirty, so switch into some overalls and boots because that's some shit. That's yep. some shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. You don't want to give uh, Reyna a heart attack, right? Don't don't need to be like, sorry. Here, can you clean this? <laughs> <laughs> can you clean this? Th- these shit covered maid garments. Please no. Faints. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do I just that. look at them and go. I'll, I'll just so stitch you a new one. Acid in your food. What? <laughs> I make the just, stains on the dress. Just go. burn them and, and make a new one. <laughs> I was gonna say just something that burns organic compound, but I went. Wait, actually, there's a strong chance these dresses are made out of quote unquote organic compounds. Probably like linens and cotton and wool and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's a good question. Do they grow? Do they grow hemp in place you're from? That's a good uh... question, chaotic. One that I am <laughs> that not prepared to answer. That, that is a good question. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. <laughs> 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 I have. Oh, my my notes on the ecology are missing today. Notes uh, on ecology, trade, growth. This that. How many pound? How many pounds of wool do they make per sheep per acre? That I got that. It's great someday. Someday. Um, sure. Next question. <laughs> That's a Fair. great question. <laughs> Anyways, made in heaven. <laughs> oh yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> made in heaven. What are you doing right now? Well, uh, aside from the forge stuff, I believe I'm going over to Court Mage to ask about a sending scroll. I need you guys to remind me why we were wanting to contact Zane. Because he was a connection that we found. He's a very, very powerful and connected person. He could be of great assistance in things that we're doing. He could help us to... He could help us in a lot of ways. And seeing this, this is his... Um, not adopted. I'm trying to remember. It's like the god... Niece? God, god niece? niece? Yeah. Something yeah, like he's, that. He's sort of like the... Yeah, like... Yeah, the, the, the children the have called him... Yeah. yeah, the children have referred to him as an uncle, but that's probably more of a... Less the official title and more of a personal one. Right. Because he's not related, but he, yeah. Right. And of course, he's taken up, as far as I'm aware, Zane has taken up duties essentially as a diplomat. Mm-hmm. So he kind of yeah. goes between all the different places. Yeah. Essentially on, I mean, well, essentially, I, I don't even know if it's necessarily on Ragnail's behalf. I don't know if it's his city's half. I don't know exactly where we are in terms of the politics there right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Goody. Halfway, half, halfway between, halfway between several different orc wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh. Well, I guess you'll have to. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll see what happens. We'll right. have to just state it at some point. But, um, yeah, the big reason was to ask for his help. I believe as well as well as um. I feel I could swear there was an actual concrete thing we had beyond he's a high level and he'd be really helpful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I, don't I believe, remember the specific concrete reason. I believe the two reasons were one, yeah, he's a very powerful diplomat. You know, I, if he heard his 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 quote unquote niece was dying of a terrible affliction and he might be able to help, that uh, yeah, he'd probably want to. Mm-hmm. Um. The other point being that uh, you, you, you have the other the part I didn't actually remind you about, which I, I probably should now. Thank you for asking this question. Was uh, that one of the things Enam told you is that um, he very much didn't just see Elia's history, but Alvor's history, and the idea that this creature may have 
in infected, for lack of a better word, infected their bloodline through Alvor. And he's because... a first account source of what could have could have what done could that. Have gone, what yeah, could, what could have, have done been that. encountered. Right. Yes. That that I think that was the concrete yeah, reason was because the he thing, literally right. knew Alvor and was part of his adventures that are now like canonized. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Mm -hmm. Hell, for a lot of short-lived races, it literally was an entire generation ago, except, you know, save those who live a long time, so. Yep, yep. All I'll right. live forever. I think I've got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so. We'll tie uh, Sometime, today. yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> the new season of Diablo 3 hit, and uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was up far too late than I should have been. Anyway. Boy, you're not playing Diablo I just, Immortal. I stayed up. I stayed up late playing Baldur's Gate, so okay. yeah. I'm just dying. Mm -hmm. I went to sleep at like six p.m. and woke up at like nine a.m. Good. I'm just I'm, dying. Good. I'm still playing Chrono Trigger instead of working, which I should be doing. I should <laughs> <laughs> God, that's a mood. All right. Uh, knock, knock, knock on the door here. Not knocking, but actually saying the word "knock." Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. She... oh, God, please don't. <laughs> she opens the door. Yes, how may I help you? Uh... God, I'm trying to... Uh... Everybody having mind blanks today. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of how I would word this. Gotcha. Um, do you happen to have a scroll of sending available? I have multiple, but may I ask who you're trying to contact? What is this about? About the situation in the courtyard, we had the idea that perhaps we could contact Sir Corlin about possibly finding solutions or finding she... answers. She puts her hand to her chin. Oh, I suppose that would be a good idea. Lord Additionally, Corlin is... He would be a no, first-hand account as well for whatever adventures the, the late king would have been on. Not to mention, he's a very astute mage himself. Very knowledgeable, I hear very versed in the magical arts, perhaps probably more than I am. God, that bardic knowledge be fucking bumping. Yeah, that be bumping. Allegedly just like him. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He's in his prime longer. I'm just saying. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. He's been 15 for 50 years. God. Oh my god. That's that 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 sounds I hate that. That's I hate sauce. that. Uh, okay. I hate that so much. Wait, hey, what part so much? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I yes. Hear, sorry. Oh, oh, 15 for 50 years. Oh. We were we were talking about Zane. What was the last thing you heard? No, I just I, I... I uh, was typing something and I was trying and I heard about um I heard oh I hate that and I'm like wait hey what part? Oh okay. <laughs> He's talking about you but in a good way, I promise Boo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Boo. Um yes, yes. So I do have a scroll of sending for that, but um tell me Made in Heaven, are you familiar with Lord Zane? I believe that the sending spell requires you to know the target in order to send a, s a sending spell. Oh, uh, n uh no, it, it wouldn't be me sending it. Um, it, I, I'm, I'm just a... It has I'm to be sure. her as the caster sending it. Well, uh, she said she has scrolls of it. Yeah, but it was um, the way that you said that solar makes me think it's like you're gonna cast sending on Made in Heaven. That's um, no. Um, 
I, no, I do no, 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 no. I, I do mean, know what I you mean. I have used magic device if you need it to be me. <laughs> um, Calls to the collective. Does, you, who knows? Who knows Zane who knows, personally? Who's, who's, met, who's met him? Who has who met him? him? So you do know one no, person no, no. who has. Uh, Struworth mentioned some connection as he identified who the uh, evil cutlery was from. Okay. So, um, it's... Presum you Presumably contact a creature with sending... If they don't know who you are, then they don't know who you are, but if the subject... If they know you... So you can send messages to people you don't know. They just don't know who the fuck is sending them the message. But right. if they know who you are, then if they've at least met you, then they know who you are, and it will, and it'll go. Oh, I know who that is. So. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. And then sending, you can send twenty-five words or less, and then they can send one back immediately if they want to. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Which usually, if they don't know you, the response is um, ninety-eight percent of the fuck? time. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> Wrong. I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, well, I so will Shrew say that... Would be the one that would... Yeah. Well, I'll say that I'm not familiar with him, but I do know that Struworth knows him. And <sighs> he did mention that it might be a good idea to contact him. So, well, in that case, uh, this sounds like a rather detailed subject, so please feel free to use as many of my sending scrolls as you like. It might take more than one, I'm assuming. And she rummages through her, uh, she has a little shelf that's just full of scrolls. She uh, literally just... opens it and like 50 scrolls of sending just... pop out. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh... also porn. <laughs> also, absolutely. Oh, that one's not a spell. That one goes oh, into no. this Oh, no. No, that's in this... That goes in this drawer. How did that What's get the... in there? What's this doing here? Uh... Anyway, um... So I have... I you have... heretic! <laughs> <laughs> I have... <laughs> I have 15 uh, sending scrolls in total, but I'd, I'd, I would be, I would prefer it if you didn't use them all. Oh, no, uh, I, I, I probably only need like two or three at the very most. All right. I, uh, in that case, she will give you three. And, three. Uh, yeah. Give, take three scrolls of sending. All right. Damn. Three scrolls of sending. Hey, you guys have a, we you have a budget. Oh we god, do. that's weird. I've never had one of those before. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> in all of my this campaigns. castle, not only is this the castle of the royal family, there's also the castle of the surrounding region and gathers taxes. Yep. We have a budget. <laughs> we have a budget. You have a budget. You. Isn't that doesn't that feel nice? Doesn't that feel mm. nice? Yes. Are you guys technically like the I'm richest cheap. you have ever been in this world? Uh. <laughs> well, actually, to be fair, level twenty characters. I mean, I'm just that saying. I true. mean, I did, I did make. Uh, <laughs> there are some magical ad weapons. Sorry, I did make finish. Archmage Cadgar, and uh, you know, that's we true. Don't talk about what I did with my. Paladin. I'm just saying that there are some magic weapons that are worth more guy. than kingdoms. Yep. That is so, very, very true. Well, uh, thank you very much, and uh, we'll make sure this gets sent mm -hmm. to the right place. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> and we'll continue on outward. I wonder if that man knows where my fucking brother has gotten off to. I have excellent news! <laughs> <laughs> Big news. Good news! Big news, everyone! <laughs> He's become what? a real man! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's learned the magic of goth girl IHOP. Haven't you? Ah, <laughs> oh, what was the... I want... Go on. 
I, I'm just I'm just trying to remember what the name of that place was in Blood Cove. I, the two names that are coming to mind for Benbo's not... Wheelhouse. Benbo's Wheelhouse. Yeah. No, that was the uh, that was the Flex Show. Yeah, that was. Uh, the, yeah. For some reason, I thought there was a Himbo Hooters. And I don't know why. Yeah, that was Benbo's was, Wheelhouse. That was how it was scribed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm trying to remember the one that uh, Valen and I think it was I think it was Olki that went with him. I will rewatch through them tomorrow. It, yeah, I think, I think yeah. it was, it was, it was it, this week. It was Valen, Olki, and uh, Nagaina, which makes I'll rewatch them this oh, week. Yeah. See if I can find it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and find. There was it. also a time that Aesop and uh, Valen ha ate at the Goth Girl IHOP. So I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. The yeah. Have that was it. Was. That was it. That was God it. damn. Oh, um, man. Yeah, she just like just just as she says that, she's like, "I wonder where my bloody brother has gotten off to." And then it just cuts to Ulki and Valen in a tavern. Valen is standing on the counter, holding up a a a, a dissertation about the moon. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I told you God. all. Oh Believe my god, me. that moment when you realize Valen wasn't kicked out of the university for, uh, ne uh, he necromancy. Was, he, was. he was kicked out because he was a twin moon conspiracy theorist. He was actually <laughs> this world's equivalent of Galileo. He, was, he knew it! Yes, either that or this world's Bernicus. equivalent of flat earthers. <laughs> yeah! But that he's right. But he's he right. He was right. Exactly. He was right all Did this fair? time. I, I oh, think Ulki would be a flat earther. Ulki oh probably God. would be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just fall yeah. off the. Yeah. The reason the water doesn't fall off is because of the ice wall. You know. Yeah. Ice wall yeah. in the north. Yeah. But he's yeah. the worst kind of flat earther because he thinks he's smart about it. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah he's he thinks back. he's proven it scientifically. <laughs> mm. <laughs> anyway. Right. Uh, making my way down the hallway. Walking fast. Walking fast. You ah. see Struworth having a word with Sextus here. Ah, yes. Ah, Struworth, if I may have ah. a word. Mm, uh, I will continue this subject later. Yes, sir. He goes back. Uh, yes, what is it? I managed to get, pulls out a scroll of sending, one of these from the court mage to send to uh, Sir Corlin. Oh, Viola let you at her stash, did she? She did. <laughs> well, I saw most of them. What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, that just shows she's uh, committed. She's usually very protective of her scrolls. And her spells. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> no, the rule of <laughs> Anyway. Anyway. Um, so what do you intend to do with well, these? Well, seeing as you are the one that is most familiar with him, I was wondering if you would be able to make use of these. This is me mechanically asking if he either has the spell known, or it's on his list, or if he has used magic device. I am no caster, but I am familiar with these types of magical... Do hickeys. Do hickeys. I was going to say a different word that was more formal <laughs> and more eloquent. But yes, do hickeys. It is totally um, elegant. It's the what it's the, the place you're from word for it. Yeah. The do hickeys. How dare you? <laughs> How unplace you're from in of you. Well true, he doesn't have a place you're from in name. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, um I suppose in that case, uh yes, I can have a uh I can uh, speak with him. What specifically are you wanting me to ask him? All right, guys. What 25 words do we want? 
<laughs> hey Zane, how you doing? Your friend's dead. <laughs> hey Zane. I think he knows that bit. Yeah. I think he yeah, knows that, that bit. <laughs> Your friend's are dead. dying and you uh, can't Alvor's still dead. Aging is a bitch. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm sorry, that sounds kind of threatening. How does it oh. feel being immortal? How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel being 15 still? You? What will you have after 500 years? I'll have you, Dad. What? Oh, oh. No, don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! No! <laughs> Think, Mark! Think! I'm trying oh. to remember, did... Is Zane's dad still alive or no? I can't remember. Good question. Anyway. Yeah, assuming anyway. nothing bad has happened, I would imagine he would God be. God damn it, I've been muted all this time. First oh, of all, no. I yelled oh. First of all, I yelled doofler because I was trying to figure out <laughs> word for doof. Shut up. You don't because know what doofler word. means. It's a shush. word that Solar no, learned no, about yesterday. No. Shush. You don't you don't get to say doofler. That's a British said thing. Doofler and I got to say it now. I got the pass. Yeah. So what, is what I was, was going to answer about his father is no, he is not still alive. Ah, fair enough. Well, rest in peace. I, I I remember there was a there was a plot point. I just couldn't remember what the plot point was. Yeah, it wasn't a great so one. So I think we kind of sort of retconned it mm -hmm. a little. Mm -hmm. But he but it, he was still dead by that point. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Dead. Dead. Was his father alive during Maine, and then did he pass normally, or was uh, it... he passed due to some other circumstance? Like yeah, pre some other back. Yeah, back. Gotcha. Thing. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, the words we should probably send him would probably be to, well, figure out, you know, ask him if he would be willing to come on short notice to. Um, mm -hmm. To aid his, you know what? What? Only, only Kai. Honestly, I'm sorry. It's an automatic <laughs> response. <laughs> um, to aid his, um, to aid Alvor's children with a an issue of utmost importance, I mm -hmm. suppose. Mm -hmm. Something okay. along those lines. All and right. Oopsie, oopsie. Okay. Yeah, we did an oopsie, and we need help. <laughs> if you want, uh, if you would, if, if you want to uh, trust in Strewworth to word that, he can. That's up to Maid. She's the one doing it. I mean, I don't. Uh, I, I, I could. I could also help you try to figure out what twenty-five words you yeah, want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Twenty-five words. The question is, do you trust me to be uh, particular for you? Well, Never trust the DM to be particular for I don't, you. But I love the DM. The DM is my best friend. The, uh -huh. I'm sure the DM would have our best interests at heart. I'm sure Strewworth would have our best interests yes, at heart. Yes, I'm sure Strewworth has our best interests at heart. He knows how much she hate the, the Viela hates when people like go through her scrolls without like, you know, using them properly. Exactly. And he doesn't want a Viella on the loose because he used it improperly. Yeah, exactly. If you want, I can try to word something here for you. Go ahead and word something, Chaotic. I'll just say that Maiden said the exact 25 words, and I'm we will... Ahead. I was going to say, will... we are in the collective. You can ask real quick, and I can I give did. you something. I did. Oh. <laughs> I have asked the I'm collective. Right it, it, it is great that we can have out of character and in character at the same time. <laughs> you can have mm -hmm. actual canonical out of character conversations. Who with knew group. I would be having a party with a group chat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys got your Discord over We got that Discord server. <laughs> it's all just shit posts. Can I get out of the horny jail chat? Like, I've no. been here for, like, no. ever. It, it, okay. No, Imagine never. just, just like... Give, so, given the role. Im imagine someone is just, like, have it, just, like, spazing <laughs> out and just, like, singing, but it's singing into the collective without noticing. You should have yeah, thought so of I that. I got locked in to horny jail. You should have thought of that before spamming general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. User so, in your channel was banned for three hours. So, it was I, will, I will say that Maiden will relay... What is conjured up by the collective here, and we'll move to that after the fact, so we have uh, we can give 
chaotic time to to actually word right, it properly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was I was legitimately about to just start spewing it here. Um, Sp spewing it. Yeah. Spew it. Yeah. Spew it. I was going to be doofling it. Yes. Yeah. No. Shush. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that word. I am <laughs> poison. <laughs> no, that's me. <coughs> so it'd probably be something along the lines of they know who is sending it, but you know it's still yeah. good to be polite. Yeah. Um. Probably something along the lines of Sir Corlin. This is Struworth of House Roswald. Apologies, but would you be able to come to his children's aid on short notice? Thank you. That's 25 words right there. Sir Corlin, this is the House Roswald. I mean, I'd imagine... Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, Apologies, three, but would you be four, five, able to come to his children's aid on short notice? Thank you. On short notice. Which I would imagine is another way yep. of just saying as soon as you can. So. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right. So I'll just go ahead and uh, relay that. I believe. Uh, Sir Corlin, as she's just kind of like counting on her fingers just to make sure. <laughs> this is Struworth of House Roswald's. Apologies, but would you be able to come to his children's aid on short notice? Thank you. Okay. Um, you see that he is uh he uh, is kind of mumbling the words as you say them. He's like moving his hands uh in a sort of shorthand fashion as he does so, and uh he does not ask you to recite it once more. Good. Well, all right, now let me just see if I can send that through a spell. He takes one of the, uh, spelly scrolls here and seems to have no issue casting it, sending it on its way. Ooh. Right. So, in this know. moment, I'm now going to defer to uh, Gooty here. Okay. So uh, I will put uh, you. I'm going to tem temporarily uh, you out of Florentina's mind and you into Zane's mind. It's like those, the cobwebs. It's like those puppet strings are back. I remember them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was free. For 50 years. Now's your chance to be a big it. shot! <laughs> uh, that one might be a little out there for a reference. Never mind. Um, okay. I think you're cute. So, oh, thank you. All right, let me... I got a good response here. Let me just clear it with... With, uh, Daddy. Okay. Oh. All right, so you send this off, and a little bit of time passes, and the response received. Let me do one more quick thing here to double check my word count. Okay. Greetings, my friend. Unfortunately, my position and state of relations prevents me from acting independently from the Notorian High Council. We'll reconvene and keep you apprised. Wow, that was an automatic response if I've ever heard one. Bro <laughs> that was a that was a uh, Chat GPT response if I've ever uh, heard. Uh, that, I, I could hear that is your brain rewiring. <laughs> Struworth, uh relays this to you 
God is answering machine. Oh. Sorry. Ooh. You ever compare me again to inferior technology? <laughs> I will shut this whole stream down. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was very well. Down. It was very well written. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but that, right. he says, "Well, I suppose that is in some ways to be expected." As he is still a diplomat, and tensions between our nations is terse right now, however... Perhaps... Is there... Perhaps more information we might be able to give him? Would... Maybe something he could comment on over a spell scroll? Might need more than three shit! <laughs> All right, go read the follow-up. Got the porn lawyer on it. Yeah. Guys, I'm letting you know, we Solar and I were kind of going over this outside of game, uh -huh. so we were uh, uh -huh. just... Yes. I, I, I... I, am, I, I have a structure that I am told to follow, <laughs> so... All right. No, 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 you're good. You're good. No, you you are good. I... Yeah. Yes, I had... We had some discussions about how it I, would go. I figured. I figured. <laughs> um... Let's see... Well, a uh, question: Is he aware of Elia's condition? He is. <clears throat> I can tell you this that for free that he is. Maybe because he's not always here, he's a little uh, vague on the details. But he does know the extent. And right. We've been right. told he is. He's been around, just not since pretty much most of us have uh, joined on. Right, so. mm -hmm. right. Yeah, he's a bit older than all of you. I forget which oh. one of us has been here longest. Uh, it was uh, Flam. I, don't I, I think it's Flam. Yeah, which means he hasn't been here since at least before you joined, so. I wonder oh, who the main one? staff was before us. <laughs> or if this is a new thing, who knows? Has the Roswald family always had maids, maidens gray? When were they uh, even born? I don't know. We'll um, find it all uh, out. I mean, Flam is thirty-four, and I think she joined when she was she she got into the castle when she was like, what do we say? It's like, like very early twenties. Um, been here at least fifteen so, years. Yeah. So I can say I can say that. Uh, I believe we discussed that the whole Maiden's Grey thing was an Alvor idea, but um, him taking it might on be, Maiden's Grey was his idea. Yeah, so. it might be that Coraline did visit at some point, but Flam just didn't meet them because, well, you're just a maid. Yeah, true. You're yeah, just yeah. a maid! Weren't quite as close to the royal family as we are now, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a very special job. Okay. Also, nope. if there's any if there's any nerds in the chat who might be shitting on uh, me calling chat GPT inferior technology and all that AI bullshit, I don't <laughs> fucking care. <laughs> you're right, you're right. All right, so... I'm, I'm writing it's out basically my a lawyer. It's basically a lawyer. I'm, a lawyer I'm counting up my my second message yeah. here. Let me see here. I was gonna say if you don't mind posting it to yeah, that'll yeah, help yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh, you're good. Uh, this is this is two two parties interconnecting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So please take your time. I dig it. Mm -hmm. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Alright, so this is what I am thinking of sending as the second message, if possible. And I will pass that hot potato over to Solar. <laughs> And I I imagine that that would probably that's actually a better way of putting it than than I think I was you know asking about things that could have affected his bloodline. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Well, uh, with that, I'm, uh, I'm, unless you have any specific, uh, you want to, you want to try and make any knowledge rolls as, uh, Zane, uh, well, lucky for I'm you, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> pass that right back to every single you. one of his character sheets. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> well, I've, I've see, also got them if, if need be. If this is something you're... <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I think, I think it is. So, I would say... Oh boy. So, 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 just to, just to make sure that we've got it in, uh, in canon here, I'm going to pull out a second scroll of sending, and I'm going to, uh, put, I'm going to relay this message for Struworth to send to Zane, so that we have it canonized. Which he will send off. Um, All right. So, I would say for that one, Zane, Goody, uh, this is a, a question that I would say I, I, I would allow a knowledge roll on, but it's also mostly one that's going to you because it's asking, what do you remember of your adventures well, with Alvor? Mm -hmm. Let's see. We first met in Roxy. Um, in terms of dark magics and stuff, there was that uh, sacrificial layer underneath the uh, tower to the whatever outside of Roxy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There's a ritual we stopped. The alchemist Another ritual. Den. Yeah, uh, the alchemist den where Morgala emerged. Uh, there was Dio's messy ritual in the that had sacrifices in the city. Mm -hmm. There was um, a lot of magic-y stuff going on in Naya when those we were trying to take down those three uh, those uh, three syndicates uh, or whatever. Where like well, we, yeah, tried to, the, um, we tried yeah. to we tried to place yeah. the archer the oh. archer chick the archer girls and the mages against each other but um that got kind of found out but there was some casty shit happening there yeah uh there was a, we fought a red dragon after that we fought a bunch of orcs while the place was getting raided um we and fought a the bandersnatch three. yeah yeah that's true you fought um, the drider the drider the so. big fucking drider and got his weather ball which is also a pokemon to move yeah. To help you, to help you, to help you narrow it down. And um, nothing okay. short of that. Sorry, one more thing. Go ahead. Journey to fucking Abyssian. <laughs> yeah. Probably the biggest thing of all. <laughs> Into yeah. a land where a great dark god, with essentially demigod or actually god, was uh, prepared to wage war across Nertor from the Badlands. Oh, and here's one, here's another thing I just thought of. The mana worms we fought in the ruins in the ruined parts of Old Spire Down after the, where the meteor hit, there was like uh -huh. caustic magic residue in there too. Yep. Yep. Mm. Okay. So, uh, those are all some really good. I'm glad you remember because mm -hmm. I, I only remember so many things. I, wasn't I can't there. forget. <laughs> I can't forget such a wonderful but, introduction to our marvelous world. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, to give you some uh, ideas of what Zane might be able to reply with. You would know that uh, bloodlines, arcane bloodlines, are usually created from exposure to powerful, magical, or supernatural forces. Uh, it can be through a sexual nature, so I don't mm -hmm. know if you've ever known Alvor to... Uh, I call them have sexuals. Sex with, ...have sex with an angel or anything. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past him, to be honest. Honestly. I don't know where his dick has been. As one of his wait, wife, wait, did he fuck the angel that took oh, Zane away? <laughs> I don't know, did he? Um, no, there's context to this, I wives, promise. I have no idea. <laughs> he fucking might have. I don't know. He what might I know have. as his ex-wife. Ex <laughs> Yeah, widowed, because it, widowed wife. You, you, there are two two no, widowed no. queens currently. Yeah. So, although nobody wants them on the throne, so yeah. Mm. Well, Regents. yeah, I'm a dirty half elf. Disgusting. Dirty half elf. And, Royal, and Royale is from Nerator, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, with God. that, you're yes, you're looking for exposure to extremely powerful magical forces that you know can uh, inhabit and uh, affect someone's bloodline. It could be, uh, for for an example, I know one of the easiest examples is like demonic bloodlines. You know, you don't just have to have had sex with a demon it could be that you were just a cultist who performed powerful rituals you had so, exposure to demonic activity and side therefore... eyes myself yeah <laughs> would there be a possibility of me just intervening on something that i actually am thinking of right which maybe maybe zane will think of as like the most obvious thing i mean you were there as a player character too so yeah true um Ebony, what was your character's name again? I always forget her. She came in so late that Aaron. I never remember her name. Aaron. Aaron, Aaron the Prudent. Okay. Aaron the Prudent. Yep. Remembering... I that was a thing. In terms of affecting people, like, physically, I think she's a very good example of how the realms that uh, Morgala had built was... I, I, I think I remember at least one of us had made... I think it might have been Zane. Made a role to recognize that the Badlands were not entirely the material plane anymore. Yep. And that Aaron had been very badly affected by being here. Yep. Physically corrupted. So mm -hmm. just being in his tower has a very strong chance of having a corrupting influence. So. Yep. Yep. That it's would be survived. me. She did. You're right. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Zane, reply with what you will. <laughs> I'm just my suggestion, little. though. So. All right, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. All yeah. right. Let him cook. Sorry, I've asked you to dust off the cobwebs of a control panel you haven't touched in a while. Mm -hmm, that's okay. That's why I keep them good and preserved, baby. God, yeah. you know what? And by that, I mean my hyperfixations are <laughs> well preserved. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, you know something that has to be a com just has to really suck being a diplomat, there's a strong chance that he has a lot of sending spells coming in every day. Oh, so yeah. Here's a, here's, a, here's a question about the yeah, sending spell. He has people spell. that take it for him. I, I have a question about the sending spell, though. Does it only send, like, words in their base form, or will it also send intonation? I think the idea is that it is heard. So, okay. you're, it's, it's like you're speaking almost like in a whisper or a... Um, you know, like you hear a voice kind of in your head. Yeah. Message, but long, but infinite range almost. Yep, basically. Yeah, basically. It, it Sans extra planner. Say, yeah, it doesn't yeah. say anything about languages. So as far as I'm assuming, you just understand it. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, so you hear it and you understand it. As as Once I'm again, talking. reminding me that people have gamed the sending spell by creating languages that say a lot with only one word. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's, that's a Boy. thing. Between it intonation is... and word and this and that and a lot of other things, you could say a hell of a lot with one word. Yeah. I mean, if you say it fast enough, it's only one word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Do we, have to work out the me Just... Do we have to work out the mechanics of using your and you are now? Oh, is your one word or is it a contraction one word or is it two words? Oh god. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, pl so place your from is always three separate words? Oh uh, god. No <laughs> wonder the, the conversations and negotiations are terse. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs to just have a conversation with place your from? <laughs> Can you motherfuckers please name your shit with one word? No. I, they have to. Oh they, my they god, have, they, I love it. That's why. That's why Ragnael fucking hates talking with them. Because, <laughs> because it wastes so many so many uh word counts the magic in his Yeah, the words, magic multiple words. Yes. Oh my fucking god. I love Your it. names are on multiple <laughs> I love that that would be such a Oh, so that's insane. Chef Kiss. That is it, Chef it just... Kiss levels of of like <laughs> world building one, one world, building world building real world life world. reasons for why he would hate just another reason to them. be annoyed yes there's also another just reason. so happens that with there's like from? yes yeah okay 
So I I, the... sli- I was tuned into like that partially because I'm working on my response. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. You're no good. Worries. You're good. Yeah. I was gonna add on that there was a law that also says uh, when you uh, send a, a message to a diplomat from place you're from via a sending scroll, you have to name all of their names, lands, and titles. Oh my, oh my fucking god. god. Oh my so god. Like, so it's like one message scroll just to get through all of that, and then you You know how, how many months I have to over budget for that shit? <laughs> I love it. Gonna be taxes this year are not going to be enough! I'm gonna to have to stage another war for the get more sending scrolls. I mean, ah! Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> 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 God, oh, I love that. <laughs> All right, I think I have something here. Twenty-five words, perfect. And if Solar, like if this having... isn't good, then just then just I... call me a bad boy. Okay, you're a bad boy. <laughs> Wait, you have to read it first. <laughs> well, that was it. You said for Solar, I can do whatever I want. You didn't give me from. You didn't give me anything. Based. I'm following my command of no command. So, that is good, but you are still a bad boy. Oh. But that's okay because you're oh, our man. boy. I can't you're believe my fan's broken. Boy. It's too warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, Struworth will regale you with that. And I will regale the rest of the group with that. Anybody have any knowledges that would be helpful here? So, uh, uh, I, I would also like to, uh, I would also like to not overstate enough, since we talked about intonation in the sending spell, Struworth would also know that Zane would have relayed that very speculatively. <laughs> okay. Because I have not received any confirmation that of whether or not uh, I was that Zane would have been on the right track. So. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's all um, just speculation. Struworth will also convey that to you. Hey, back to Florentina. <laughs> <laughs> What just Run. happened? I don't know. Woo! That was that oh was my one god! Of those... Was I just drooling on the floor? <laughs> that was one of those. Uh... Mop, mop, <laughs> it's mop. one of those moments where you just like space out for like five to ten <laughs> seconds and then pop back in. So that's yeah. what's happening when you're staring in the fridge and not thinking about anything. God, yes. Oh my god. Yeah, and then you close uh, the fridge and then you open it again. I'm in this image and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All Open right. and close the fridge to see if food appears. God, that's a mood. Come on, <laughs> arm. <laughs> I just want. I know that's green beans. Fuck. I just, I just want the spaghetti to be ready. <laughs> I just want to reach in and get it. <laughs> Maybe just heat it up a little bit. Anyway. Well, <sighs> like Gwen was saying, are there any uh, knowledges that we might be able to put to use? Yeah. Yes. I'll allow a knowledge. I have two that could possibly be useful. Let I me a knowledge planes or history. History, knowledge. thank you very much. Would religion uh, do anything? I got no. planes. Uh, I would... Let, let me think about that for a second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that history and planes would definitely be good ones, though. I'm just trying to think, is there, is there anything I could tell you if you did? I'm going to tell you about aeroplanes. Um, you know that they what? fly. I know that they fly. I didn't um, know that aeroplanes were a thing. I can tell you about the aeroplanes. Oh no, I mean like where sylphs come from. You know, the aeroplane. Oh, <laughs> get fucking fuck out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Delete sorry. your character. <laughs> I'm, not feeling, I'm not feeling P12 anymore today, fam. Oh my god. I'm That's deleting dumb. my character IRL. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm there's nothing, there's also, IRL. nothing stopping Flem from rolling both, if you have them. 
Uh, I mean, I have planes too, so... Yeah, you can. Yeah, I was going to talk well. about the aeroplanes. So, uh... <sighs> I'll make a history as well, just to see if. Uh, ahead, I mean, both are history. And... Both are good. So, Flam's plain history, and here's my history. I can aid a history check. So, okay, I'll aid so, Flam's history check because that's the only go, one I have. I'm not even aiding. Go ahead and go ahead and roll me a religion, uh, but I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and roll me a religion. Religion. Just go and do it. Just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Here's a religion as well, just in case there's anything that helps. You never know. Um. Okay. So I'm aiding Flam on her history, and then I just have a religion, and I guess Reina can technically aid on the planes check. Mm-hmm. I'm um, helping. So. It's more that it's like, you know, if you say something, it's like, what was that word? And we say this, and you go, ah, right. So I'm helping. Wait. So 26 planes and 27 Nine. history. Okay. Mm -hmm. 27 <laughs> history, we'll do that first. So, mostly with history, all I can do is recount to you what you already know about uh, the events of main campaign. The legend of the heroes. And the evil that was Morgala. You know that... Morgala was some very powerful dragon capable of some immense powers, a creature known as the Primordial. It is impossible to know what kind of foul magics such a creature could be linked to. Um, the one who brought a star down from the heavens to smash an entire city. Indeed. Mm -hmm. You can only imagine what else he was capable of. What else... If if not... If this bloodline was not given by Morgala himself, then you couldn't say for certain what... what creature or from the description you were given, lack of creature force something would be affecting Elia in this way. Which brings me over to planes. So I can tell you, the planes rollers, the planers, that you... Aeroplanes, please. You in your aeroplane can see much. Thank you. Um... You have little to draw on about what kind of planes this would be. You know that, uh, based on what, uh, what you, uh, what, uh, Zane has speculated about Abyssian could be true. That in there, the lane, the planes began to blur. But what Enam said was that this force does not exist on this plane or any other. He seemed to claim that whatever this was, it was exterior to the planes. Or something that was, but now wasn't. You you, you, you're basically, you've been given information that is very vague and it's hard to work with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you just don't have enough data. Right. But that is what, that is the, the thing that keeps rocking around in your head. Something that does not exist on this plane, that is inconceivable. That defies all that is known about planes thus far. Because everything exists on the planes. Everything. It's, it's, Goodness itself exists on the planes. Evil itself exists on the planes. Exactly. Should, should we? I exist fish? on the planes. <laughs> I, it's you not, do. Me, me oh as God. a player remembers something that exists outside of the planes. Yeah. No. Me What's as that? a player knows... Uh, evil campaign. 
Oh. End of evil campaign. Yeah. Well, well I'm not about to yeah, send. A, I'm not about to do a sending scroll to Ragnael or Dio, but you know, we wouldn't have any idea. We wouldn't even and, have any idea. They'd know, they'd yeah, that was a exactly. that was a secret war to save the world. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. As far as yes, that was a as church I said, accident. Defies the known. Yeah. Laws. Yeah. Anyway. As to how this secret war and what its knowledge did to affect how they now interact with the world, that's entirely up to the players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As for your uh, religion role, Chaotic, mm -hmm. uh, the best I can really give you is that sometimes when uh, divine forces manifest themselves in uh, people, they don't become sorcerers but they become a different thing called oracles, which you know one exists in the exist in this castle right now, and you're pretty sure Elia isn't that. Yeah, so Flam, Flam's an oracle, so... You're... Mm -hmm. You... While this, this, this thing does not seem to be beholden to <laughs> any magical laws that you know, it Just... doesn't seem to be divine either. Listening to the way that Enam had said things, you know, it doesn't seem divine. It doesn't seem, you know, just trying to rack my thoughts on things. It's just like, no, there's just nothing that really matches up. Yeah. Let's see. The only okay. thing you know is that this doesn't make any sense. Yep. yep. This angle know. is rotund, but it's acting acute. Yep. I, well, uh, I do not understand this, and therefore that makes me angry. <laughs> He's a cute and I'm Rotan. Wee. Aww. Wee. You both are cute. Shut up. Okay. Between zero to eighty-nine degrees. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. That is all you're able to determine. Ooh. So does that mean she's an occultist? Hmm. Anyway. Are we are we getting into psychic and psionic magics psionic. now? Ooh. Well, maybe not psionics, but occult classes, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but but yeah, like at, at least Flam would say that in her experience it doesn't make sense. But then again, she she's no she's. Not a magical expert in 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 that way. And we all continue to discuss this whilst we all do our maidly duties. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, also, uh, I I may want to bring this up, uh, in our uh, <clears throat> thinking polycule collective. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Something, something's on the mind. Wishful uh, 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 thinking. No, I was just gonna say. I, I was just gonna say. Wait, no, it's 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 collected. Uh, um, I'm teasing. Uh, fuck! What I was I gonna say? Um, oh right. Uh, about the plan of going perhaps to the northern realms to find out about this. Um. um this this solution cure yep which i can respond to by saying that we have once the duties with duke corthus are done we you know if we can somehow find time before um elia's throning would that be something that corthus decides he wants to support Mm -hmm. And we could make it happen because we do need to bring Enam home at some point, yep. you know, which this is a perfect excuse to, you know, we're taking him to his lands to release the prisoner. And he also just so happens to lead us to the thing. If we can wiggle that in there, we can. If we can get Corthus to support Elia going on the throne, she could then order us to go. So it's mm. more like a, uh, I mean, it's... It's all a little speculative. It's a little vague. I and Leona don't like it, but that's, you know, kind of how it has to go. Because it's, it's one of those. the best chance we've got. Yeah. The way yeah, that uh, Leona is also putting it in her head, 
and probably through the collective, is that this is Ze Zelos is subtly guiding us, and it's up to us to find the paths he's laying out before us. Yep. So. Yes. So, I will add one thing onto that, just to ask quickly. Are you conveying this to Struwer? Or anyone else in the castle? Or is it just, just, I'm just you things you're you planning? Because I love you. Uh, I'm very it... grateful. Hmm. At the As moment, the... no, I don't think so. Okay, At the moment. that that's fine. That is most not a request time, from me. It's just most me of the time, us maids are just talking amongst each other unless we otherwise tell somebody else. So, yep. it's just yep. like, oh, guys, let me in the group chat. <laughs> I promise, I, I, don't I don't even know why I'm here. You have my spot. I mean, again, I, if Struworth asks, he always can. He knows, like, he knows I can do it, but um, I just... Essentially, he's my superior. I don't... It, it's... I almost feel like it's one of those... Weird, here. It's one That's of those nothing. weird relationships where I kind of put it down to he's the superior, he's the... I shouldn't be in his head, almost. Right. If that makes sense. <laughs> right. That's fine. Like, he... The way I, the way I think... He would he would see it as yes he probably would leave you to your uh you know he sees this as Lectives, more of a uh, a, a protective sort of thing uh, okay. so he's that that is strictly within your realms where you outrank him when it comes to protecting the the, the royal heirs you outrank Struworth. Mm -hmm. that is it's like think of it like this it's like um in it's having modern two different armies. managers. In, yeah, in modern armies, uh, the combat medic outranks everyone when it comes to doing what's best for someone who is injured. Yep. That's why, yeah. exactly. why it's my favorite trope of the medic basically telling the officer to shut the fuck up and do what I say or this guy's going to die. Yep. So. Clone, yeah. Wars, Clone Wars did this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I miss well. you, Kicks. Okay. It's like having well, two managers. He's the he's the general manager, and I'm like a specific area manager. So yeah, Indeed. yeah. You're a shift manager. Well, exactly. Frankly, that <laughs> does give us more questions than answers, but it does point us in a direction. Does indeed. It's oh, just seeming that. more and more likely that we will have to figure mm. out some of this ourselves. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yes. So. No. Oh, do you? Do you? No. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Oh, uh, I was gonna uh, just just this. Uh, I, I kind of hate saying this, but it, it doesn't defeat the purpose of us being the guard of the royalty if we have to leave them, even if it's for their own good. Oh, that is that's... a detail that we will work out when we get there. Mm-hmm. That. Ideally, would be when Elia takes the throne, she would have her own set of personal guards to cover that role while we're away. She would be queen, after all. Right. I don't like it. I don't either, <laughs> but it's the cards we've been dealt. We play the roles we are meant to play. Yeah. Very well. Okay. In that case, I think it is a good time to have a pee break. All yes. Right. Yeah. Pee break. Pee break time. Pee break. We will be right back, guys. We'll be right back.
the hello world now and crying. Ew. Hello, and we are back. Oh. Whale, come back. Come. Whale, come. Come. Back. Everybody loves a good comeback story, and no one comes on backs better than me. <laughs> oh, is that an invitation? Can I test oh, yeah. that out? I am unhinged a... today. We can discover. It's not an invitation. It's a promise. So this sounds like a great day to do twelve. <laughs> guys, I, I I think this 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 whole group is, is very horny today. Very horny. It, it's it's April, you know. Yeah. It, it, the eclipse I'm, did stuff to everybody. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm a, I'm officially classifying us as tired and horny today. Once I get over this flu, I'm gonna get superpowers, and y'all ain't even gonna know. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. What? The stare pregnant. What? What? You stare at... You stare at it's, 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 it's a glare that gives the impreg... Can we get back? What's the soul? What's going <laughs> on with the... Uh... <laughs> I don't want that. Can I have a new power eclipse? I don't want that. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. We can get back to so it, hello, I suppose. Chat. Hello, hello, chat. chat. Hello, chat. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back, chatters. So, uh, let me just quickly. Uh, oh mad God, hang chatters, on. Chatters, mad hatters. Stay on the home screen for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Show me my home. Show no hole. Um. Hole. Right. Right. Um. Okay, so. Is there any further uh, discussions with Strewworth you want to have, or are there any discussions with anyone in What's the. What's his mother's uh, maiden name? Oh my fucking. <laughs> uh, Anne. Anne? That's a weird maiden name. Was right. <laughs> anyway, uh <laughs> I can get so, into her bank account. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You just need the numbers on the front and the three numbers on the back. Okay. So, uh <laughs> is there is, is there anything you guys wanted to do uh at the current time present in the day? It's about uh about one o'clock. In the afternoon. I'm cooking Swedish meatballs for dinner. Ooh. Oh my god. Big old Swedish meatballs. Tasty. Okay. Wait, if Nakayama's a neutral nation, then wouldn't it be Nakayama meatballs? Sure. Are they, are they, Nakayama are they, meatballs? Are they know. Swedish? They're sweet-ish meatballs. You get it? Sweet-ish <laughs> meatballs. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't love uh, honey barbecue on them. Okay. I don't. All right. I don't <laughs> like the sweet-ish part of it. It's like <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a little honey barbecue. Ish. Ish. Like it's in quotes. Sweet. Sweet-ish. You don't know. <laughs> it's a place um, for fruit in dish. Don't worry about. <laughs> Of course, of course it's from me. Okay. Back in the aisle in the corner. Of course it's fucking from me. It's a fucking from <laughs> dish. Of fucking course it is. <laughs> okay. I reiterate my question. Is there any? Is there anything you want to do, or are you? I, 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 is was there anything else, basically? Other than my talk with Elia, I have nothing else specific for today. Okay. I may have something for tomorrow. In that case. Uh, can I have Made in Heaven and uh, Leona, please roll me perception checks. Sure. Perception. Perception. If, well, we are still on the main page if we need to be on I the know. map. Okay. I am aware. Let Just me move sure. you back now. 26. <laughs> Apparently an 18. Okay. I'm afraid you are too busy cleaning the stables. 
seems to be. I'm trying not to get too much meh on me. Mm -hmm. You've also been having a conversation in your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, at some point, something has to give. So this yeah. time it's my attention. Although it's still pretty good, but... You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I will give this to you. Uh, to you, well... Made in heaven? You made in heaven, yes. So, okay. from the stairs here, can you uh, see where I'm marking? Uh, no. First, second, third floor. <laughs> second floor. Second floor? Where you, where you are. Where you were no, talking to Struble. No, I can't see it. But okay. I assume. Maybe you're on the GM layer. I, I the assume GM it's layer. these stairs. Right here. Right here. These. <laughs> oh, okay. So past the doors. Thus. Yes. Okay. You this hear. You hear the clattering of armor. And then you hear shouting. Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll look to Struworth briefly and then look back to the sound and then make my way quickly. Open the door. Okay. You open the door to see Sextus, who's also heard it and has moved to this door and opened it to reveal this god. God number eight, known as known as Pate. Mm -hmm. He's breathing heavily, and he yells, <sighs> top of his lungs. We need some help on the roof. It's the boy. Rushing. <coughs> we. Uh. He he like. As he goes by, he says, There was... I don't... I, I don't... I don't understand. He just... He came in so fast. I... We have some intruder. And... Uh -oh. And with that, uh, immediately pushes past him, rushing Oof. up up the stairs. Uh, <laughs> in, in the uh, collective... Uh, calling out intruders on third floor. Boy is in danger. Do we need to go into initiative or can we all just start moving? You can start moving. I'll tell you when you get to the top. So uh, the first gotcha. thing that I'm going to do, hearing that I, I, I was the first. second floor bathroom. All right. so does this I mean that I am not in my maid outfit, but I'm still wearing my armor. So, because luckily I have chain mail that can go underneath okay. whatever I'm wearing. So, so. Right. hold it right there, you two on the on the roof. Yep, 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 yep. All right. So, am uh, you know, are we are any of us who want to move able to do so real quick, or what do what do you want uh, us to? Do? I don't so want to move I, without being. Uh, tell you what, I'll keep move your tokens where you will. Um, but I'll tell you when you get onto the roof, basically. Uh, if you're doing anything instantaneously, is there anything you're casting or or something like that? Go ahead. Uh, I am changing my. I am adjusting my stance to vigilant keeper if I haven't already done yep. so. So it's just been a few weeks. Okay. As part of my move action, I'm pulling out my sledgehammer. I am poisoning. Same with my. Same with okay. my Albert. Quote, okay. quote unquote. I'll tell you what. I will take you all. Put you. Here for the time being, are you going to Flam or are you staying with Theo? Or I'm are you gonna... taking Theo with you? No, I am going to uh, look at this guy. Uh, what's his name? Three, three boy. Uh. Oh, three boy. What does I name three boy? I, 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 I'm, I will, I would say Sanji. Right. Was it me. Troy? I, I called, I called, Troy? I called him. That's a really good name. I should have called him that. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Quick rename. Troy. What? You could have just gone the Japanese route and named him Santa. That's also really good. Mm -hmm. I'll stick with Troy. <laughs> That's why he's a Uh Okay, well, if you... Because um, where I'm going to end up, I'm going to go ahead and read this. I'm actually going to... And hearing that, 
and hearing it's something on the rooftop. Um, let me read here. Just checking. Okay. Oh. Hearing that, you know, I still have my. I always have all my stuff on at least during the day when I'm not sleeping. I still end up okay. keeping everything. Okay. Even though I changed my outfit. From the stables, I turn on my unbroken stride stance, which allows me to fly in the uh, air. Uh, so I basically start by... Well, I moved you. I can fly, but the way yep. she'll do it is she'll end up running across the water and up onto probably this tower here. Okay. So she runs up the wall and will end up on this side. Right. With that... I was gonna say that uh, after hitting Theo and after being at like you know on the top floor, uh, I will do my uh, what you call um, a three D magic and enlarge myself. Okay, um, are you? Uh, it might be difficult for you to fit through the uh, things, but no, that's what I said after. Ah, uh, uh, right, uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Pardon me. Pardon. Me. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I'll say uh, the guards are also following you. I made a little initiative down uh, on floor one uh, just to show who's probably going to get up there first in what order. Mm -hmm. But we will start with Flam. Not Flam. Sorry. Made in Heaven. Yes. So you reach the top of this uh, stairway. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this door here is closed. Or no, right. it's probably open, but proceed. Yeah, so... Popping uh, out here. Should okay. Also do this. So... That back. The first thing you see is these two guards on either side of this castle, uh, of this side of the castle, they both have their halberds ready and are in armed positions. They have their shields up, and they are really defensive. They seem to be holding the ground while whoever uh, the, the other guy was sent to get help. Standing between them, you see... Averin. And he is standing beside a man you do not recognize. And this man seems to laugh heartily. What do you do? Ooh, okay. All right. Well, what's his distance from me? 120. Okay. Give me just one second. What's the range on this? One moment. I need to. I need to make sure this is. I know this fucking music. That's why I recognize it. Okay. Oh. Uh, I've heard this taunt, this song before. Yep. Mm. Yep. And unfortunately, good old Kevin. That is, that yeah. Is not within my range. Fuck. Okay. Um. Well. Are we in initiative order then? I'll say you are for now. Uh, okay. For just getting onto the roof. Okay. But so far, no combat okay. seems to be happening. But I will say, yeah, go ahead and take so, a move as if it were, were normal. Okay. Normal so, combat. what is Averin's uh, disposition as I get up to the rooftop here? Like, what is what is his position relative to that man? So... Averin seems to have his back to you. He is um, leaning over the side, 
uh, of the uh, crenellations uh, seems to be looking to his left and talking to this man who stands on them with his arms folded. He also has his back to you and seems to be staring out towards the north. Okay. So the man is standing on the crenellation? He mm-hmm. is. And the, both of their backs are to um, Maiden Heaven and the guards? Yes. Okay. Okay. And, and the guards are very clearly looking towards like, him. Like, like... They... Yes, they have... They have, like obviously been they got their point knowing no yeah knowing knowing the the guards seems like you know that knowing the the security of this castle Mm -hmm. uh a guard of this castle hopefully should have noticed a uh intruder climbing up the walls uh and there should have been an alarm go off suit like long before he uh got anywhere near the prince but it seems that this man has taken them completely off guard Mm -hmm. and was probably talking to uh the boy before they even realized he was there okay so going to take my movement okay and I'm going to, in the collective, mention... Uh, does this man look like he is from the north? Roll me knowledge... Local? local? Uh, it's going to be a straight intelligence local. for me, then. Go ahead. He doesn't look like he's um, from around here. <laughs> You're not from around here, stranger. You're not, you're not from around here, are you? It's not a face I that's recognize. All you, okay. That's all you know. Okay. All right. Is that your turn? Um. That looks to be my turn. As a free action, I'm going to mention to the collective, it looks to be one man standing on the ramparts next to Averin. And I'll go okay. ahead and just roll my... Then he better get time. used to life underground. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Uh, do we need a sneaky approach, or are we just gonna go? I don't think Flora <laughs> and I are capable of sneaking. I am... Um... That's fine. We can be yeah. a good distraction so Kai can sneak. Yep. I'm a ninja. Okay. So collective so, north northern rampart, um, right looks side. To be one uh, right side tower, um, just above the what is that uh, at like the very top here? Is this is this anything? Is it just? I think like that's just looking down at like the. So there was in in the old art of this castle this is right. actually supposed to be attached to a much larger castle but ah, um, okay okay i'm just so, using this part that is just a little little balcony where you can go and have area. lunch okay yeah have some lunch understood okay is it to be a standing... balcony on the third floor or is it meant to be a balcony on the first floor i assume it's, it's a balcony first, on the first i think floor. it's a balcony on okay. the second floor <laughs> how do you get there <laughs> there's no way to get to it I um, get there. Nobody else does. Uh, so, yeah. So with that, yeah. is that so, your, is that everything? Looks, looks to be standing just above the balcony, and that will be okay. my turn. Doing okay. a fucking first-person shooter callouts here. Right side, third floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right side, so third next, floor, just uh, above the balcony. So next, which might be a bit weird with initiative, but I, I believe, given that you're flying, how fast is your fly speed, uh, Leona? It's as fast as my movement, I think. Let me double check. Um, How fast is your movement? 
can walk through the air as if it were solid ground, gaining a fly speed equal to my land speed, which my land speed is currently 30. In that case, I will say uh, Florentina will probably get that before you. Because she was just in the little bath. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to mention when I heard it. Not to mention when I heard the word intruder, I would have clicked my haste boots together. Uh, I I probably would have done done that to. I don't have boots, but I have a blade. So. All right. So. Yeah. At that. So at hearing all that, she's going to come through the door and look to what she sees across the way. You see the same as Flora made in heaven. Ah. Every time. Florin made in heaven. Flaying in heaven. Flaying in heaven. <laughs> Flaying heaven. Hey. Paid in heaven. Okay. Right. So let's see. That was. Five. Thirty. Forty. And. With my haste and movement, that's actually about... Uh, we're actually hey. on the same Y-axis there. There it is. <laughs> ah. um, so, from where I'm at, is there anything in- I can identify about this person? Roll me... What knowledges do you have? History, martial nobility. Uh, history and... Marshall, please. Okay. All right. First, I shall history. One, two, if I can just roll above fucking five today. No. Twenty-eight, Marshall. Hey, okay. there it is. So, with your history, you know that this is definitely a northerner by the pelts that he wears on his back. You can't see his face, but you know that this is definitely someone from the north. Mm. You can also tell by the halberd No, it's not part of me. Not the By the glaive that they are that they are holding in their hand. The way they grip it, the way they so easily hold it in their hand. You can, you know that this is someone who is no stranger to combat. Mm. You just, you just can't help but feel like you've seen it before. Mm. I see. Hmm. Shut the hell up. Damn, okay. (laughs) (laughs) You do not know how much they tease me with this. (laughs) 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 You call out in giant or not. I'm gonna roll to see what uh, I might do as a free action here. D100. Let's yep. see it. 100. Okay. Let the dice gods guide your guide your hand. Yep. It's guided us to the lower half. Whatever that mm. means. <laughs> She's going to yell to them in giant, the equivalent of pick on someone your own size. Which would be giant. What? Okay. Um. The man seems completely unconcerned by the two guards pointing their halberds in his direction. But when you call out to him in giant, 
he does give a turn of a head and uh, gives you a an eye from the side but does not move fair and he goes back to saying something to Averin perception checks I don't think I'm close enough. If you, that's gonna be at a minus twelve for yeah. Florentine just... and minus ten for me. You never go ahead, know. Go ahead and roll if Might you as well want. Try. <laughs> so I'll try. Hang on, let me look up the specifics. What? Twenty-four. <laughs> that's at minus ten. Oh, yep. I see. Yep. Mm-hmm. You said it's minus 12, Wooten? Yeah, it's minus 12 for you because you're 120. For me, yeah. Hear the details of a conversation is DC zero, assuming they're not whispering. I see, okay. And the DC is plus one per 10 feet, so essentially that minus 10 is DC 10 just to hear a conversation. I see, okay, thank you. I was a little <laughs> confuzzled looking at the chart there. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... So essentially, it's either a DC 10 or minus 10 to your check. So. Okay. So, um, Florentina, I'm afraid you cannot hear it. That's uh, fine. I'm but yelling. Wooten, with his 24, Wooten. and he did, he, he did minus 10, so. Yeah. I do see, yeah. Um, My special ears. Thine special ears. You see him look to... Um, look to Averin and he says ah, seems your house guard are coming I will tell you more stories later boy interesting interesting yeah more for Florentina on her turn or uh, <clears throat> I've moved my wait hold on you know, I didn't double move, so I can do another, uh... Yeah? One, two, three, four. There we go. Alright. Okay. That case, is uh, if that's your turn, mm -hmm. go to Leona. So how much uh, altogether will it take? So I'll basically end up moving across from here. I can basically walk on the water, so, you know... You can, yeah. Um, it's well, starting my turn. It, are we starting the turn just as I get here, or starting your turn just as you get to the top? So, so essentially, assuming... she runs up the side of the tower, the lights over the edge. Yep. In her in her garden, where mm -hmm. the what was turned into, you know, still a feather duster on her, on her side is now out as a rapier, and she's going to start moving up this way. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if I should start going out over the top or stay close to somebody. I feel like staying close is probably a better idea, but um, well, actually, if we're starting our turn just as I get here, I can actually be a silly Billy. I do like it when Chaotic's a silly billy. Oh, you. Let's see. Uh, where is the... I think it's down here. What do I have prepared? That's the one I was looking at. Red Zephyr. There it is. Eh, we won't use that yet. But I'll pop back over into my, um... Once I pop over the edge with the... thing... I'm... Where the fuck is it? Back into Scarlet Duelist's attitude. Essentially. Okay. And then I will start to move. Because if I'm going to stay on this edge anyways... 30... And then... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I can end up right next to Florentina. 
Nice. And I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to... Actually, that would have been both actions. So actually, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, back here. And then based on the distance, I can do this. As a standard action, I want to reach out to Averin and ask him if he wants to join my collective. Okay. Does he understand what your collective is? Does he just instinctively know? So that's the real question here. Have I ever told the children about this? I feel like I would have sure told know. them that... I would have if told you... them that uh, the way that I fight, I reach out to people and I aid them using if magic. You believe... if, you feel if... Me, if you feel me knocking on the door, let me in, basically. If you believe you would have told him, then yes. Okay. And he will accept. Okay. So, so he is now... Here. Averin is now part of the collective. If he wants to think to us, he can. It, it might be... If he's not used to it, it could be jumbled, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And... The first thing that I'll do is, I'll just as a free action, real quick, what's going on? Are you okay? And that will otherwise be my turn. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose he will get a chance to respond, just saying, Yeah, I'm fine. This guy is just telling me stories. Which would be something assume, that he, everybody could hear, unless he know unless he knows to direct it to me. But otherwise, everybody just hears that. So okay, does I don't think he's probably not precise enough in his understanding or experience. Okay, all right, is that your turn? Yep, that would be everything. I had my move and standard action to add him to my collective. Um, okay, so yeah. in that case, next I believe would be Flam. Technically, Flam was closer. Mm -hmm. So I'll say you you get you get up there first. In haste then. Uh, Standard action to haste yourself. Uh, no, I was gonna say I uh, much as less as Florin, uh, as Florin, you know, probably haste to, to <laughs> reach the tower faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So as soon as I come out, um, I'm gonna. Mm, And I ha it's 30 more feet of movement, right? Yep, plus 30 feet. Okay. okay, okay, so let me check my base speed is 30. Okay, so... <laughs> 10, 20, 30. Uh, reach over here till where I can see the guy uh, close to Theo, to, to a friend, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. His back is still turned to you seems to be facing outward. I'm gonna just yell at Florentina. Flor? Catch he would him. have heard me yell at that point, yeah. I'm gonna say, catch him. And just gonna give you an enlarged person. Alright. <clears throat> and that's that's me turn. Okay, Reina. I have no idea where I am. Where am I? I'm assuming you're appearing over here. Uh, so I would assume floor. we were in the kitchen originally. Yeah. yeah. So you were in the kitchen. So you probably made your way up this side of the castle. It might oh, actually yeah. be uh, more prudent for him to pop down to the balcony. Actually, that's true. It might be a faster, I am very faster. Active. If you want to do I probably that. just went out the front and. Or the back and just kind of scaled up. Yeah. If you want to do or that, would have, or would have planned to scale up. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a climbing check. He is a ninja. Mm. Well, if you took the abilities that give the extra, I think there are ninja abilities that actually do give you climb speeds. But yeah, yeah. No, I don't okay. have those ones. No, it's a run on the walls. No. That's me. Funny enough. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Client. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm dying. Oh, I'm good. Fine. Stop dying. I'm not allowed. Oh, oh. Just don't. 
Oh, wait, no, that's your other character. Whoopsies, I rolled a 1d20. Oh, I mean a d1... Mm-hmm. A d120. A d120. <laughs> a d120. <laughs> a d120. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Try again. Try again. <laughs> One more try. There we go. Nineteen. Nineteen. And all the ninety-nine. Hi. Oh, yeah. Bizarre summer. Uh, you. You struggle a little bit, but you have been taking your time uh, getting up here with uh, the other people's turns. So I will say, yeah, this is just about when you get to the top. So. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, oh, there. Oui. Okay. Excellent. What are you doing? Oh man! So I get like a an actual turn now. Oh no. Um. So you have spent your turn climbing. Yeah. Uh. Well, you have uh spent a bit of your turn climbing, I'd say, but uh, I'd say more or less you've 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 gotten up here. Yeah. So you have a you have a surprise round action worth of yes uh-huh. think of that think of that. has he noticed me yet is there uh, any way i could stealth uh <laughs> stealth climb I somehow to, i have to make with where he's thing. standing he has a pretty good view of that side of the castle. i don't know the i mean there are some shadows i am a fetchling i mean uh, uh, <laughs> do you have any abilities that gives you cover uh or concealment. Um, yes i do yes i have shadow uh, blending as a fetchling if i'm in shadows i have cover technically i don't think you're in shadows i'm sorry damn it where's the uh, sun right now what time of uh, day is it? judging by the uh, the actual the map itself up. Uh, okay, the shadows okay. are actually on the, the opposite side of where you're climbing up. I'm sorry. Damn it. How right over there. Yeah. Right over there. I guess I will just prep a need- needle for if he tries anything funny. I- okay. Is that your turn? Yes. And it's going to be a sleepy needle. Because I don't think we want to kill him. I think we want to, like... He's going eepy. He's going night-night. Night. <laughs> <laughs> God. One. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got a double move, so... He's, while okay. he's calculating the guard stuff. He's going to <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm readying it. Because I want him to be able to explain himself. I'm not going to just mm-hmm. throw it like a surprise action. I'm just going right. to, you know, he might be chill. Let the, guard, the guards uh, move up the castle and flank you, made in heaven. Perfect. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, uh... The other gods are appearing, but we will go back to you. What are you doing? Well, well, let's see here. Uh, the most I can do at the moment is just clear the rest of that wall here, distance. The actual wall? The actual wall. Yes. Pop over here. And I will free action. (laughs) Free action. Call out to him. (laughs) Step away from the boy. Uh, At this moment... You can hear what he's uh, saying. Yes. I heard. I heard him say, "It seems your house guard is coming." Yes. You did. You did hear that. Uh, I but did hear uh, that. I'll tell you more stories later. Yep. Yeah. And then... Now he can. Now he's. Uh, as as you call out to him, he's saying something else. This castle. 
in the distance. It is the greatest castle I have ever seen. Not a hundred giants could climb it. This clan is formidable indeed. And then he turns to you. He is you. He, he turn yeah he turns to you, made in heaven. Mm-hmm. And uh Bless you. He calls out to you. Okay. The boy is with me of his own accord. Boy. Boy. That. Mm -hmm. And that is all he says in response. But since we're in structured time, I don't think. Is there anything else you can really say to that? I don't. Not at the moment. No. Okay. Florentina, Are you meeting then. with royalty? There's like protocol here. Yeah. You can't just say, <laughs> hey, I'm hanging. You gotta like. Some kind of speed with hangers. Have sixty foot speed Eight. with haste. Yes. Six. I think that was seventy total. Yes. Okay. Wrong button. You probably get about right there. Like full move action. So with my armor I think I can get just over on the other side of this guard. Okay. And then you still have a free action. Or a swift. And a swift. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I'm looking at right now. Uh huh. Hmm. What is the one in yellow? Sorry, one quick second. Yeah, good. Take your time. And die. Stop crying. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm I know. So I have this thing called binding fetters, where I can uh, <laughs> teleport somebody directly adjacent to me, but I have to have touched him. So. Mm, I mean, we're close by if you want to, maybe. No, I oh. have to touch oh, you... him oh. in order to activate it. Gotcha. Um. Okay. Uh, so at the moment, uh, swift wise, not looking like I have a whole lot I can really do here. And I don't know if I really have anything else to say. Well, so, with that, uh... I just make my approach. I just make my approach menacingly. Give me 
one more history check, please. Four. This may influence what I do with my free action. 33. Oh my god. Well, makes sense. So. Uh, now that you are this close, I'll give this to you and Rena. You get a better look at the man. As he is now turning to face uh, all of you. The man you see is old, an old human. You can tell he, he's old, but beneath the pelts he wears is just what you know is a body built of muscle. A wall his of meat. His scarred hand a rests mansion. upon his polearm, the haft engraved with burn marks, and the blade at the end is worn from use, yet gleams with a strange metal. Despite this, his slow, sure steps, you detect the faintest traces of a pained limp in his step. Though, his face does not betray it. And you, I can give this to you specifically, Florentina. You know who this man is. Ooh. You have heard the legends. Ooh. You knew the stories. And your tribe paid him tribute. Ooh. Oh, fuck. The what? Im Impossible. He's got cleats. Look at that dude. He got cleats. I could have used that while climbing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he got those cleats. Look at that boy. Mm -hmm. To give you some more context, because it has been a while, Florentina. This is the warlord who ruled your clan of which your tribe was beholden to. So, if you think about it, uh, I always say tribes are, you know, they're little, they're little towns and villages and hamlets and And mine you know, was among what he uh, oversaw. And yours, yes. He is in, in a similar in a sense, sense to a duke and his subjects, yeah. but not quite the same. Not, yeah. not really even that. He is the ruler. He is the one in charge. Oh, okay. The king. To put it more in, in different terms, he is the king you scorned for another. Ooh. Mm hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Mm. The, uh, the very obvious, uh, at the impossible, the very obvious uh, expressions on her face that she, that, uh, she does, that she recognizes him, but doesn't say anything more. All right. Looking at your face. In that case, I'll go over to. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Reyna and, and uh, Maiden. <laughs> you guys want to make sense motive checks at me? Sure. sure. Go ahead. Let's see it. Seventeen. Man, I could have used that for my initiative roll. Damn. Yeah, true. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Depending on, I guess your. Lines of sight, since I know uh, Maiden's kind of off to the east a little bit more. Yeah, you're right. In there is the not, yeah, there is not much you have ever seen to uh, shake uh, to uh, shake Florentina. But uh, this shirt, this shirt, is shit gave her gave her a bit of pause. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, I'll move over to uh, Leona. Though, at this point, I'm not sure how much you guys are preparing for combat. I mean, I can still try to put him to sleep. <laughs> if, if you're preparing for combat, if you're, if you're planning to fuck him up, then I will keep it in structured time. 
If not, <laughs> then I will allow you to move out of it. I am mad. We don't fucking know what he's gonna yeah, do. We gotta be ready. Yeah. And he's Very out well. of charge. That's why I said I was readying a sleep needle at him. Mm-hmm. Very well. Very well. Keep in structured time, then. It is now your turn, Florentina. Florentina. Fuck! Ah, all of you have so posh names. Leona. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah. <laughs> We all I... kind of also a lot of us end in A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leona, yeah. Florentina, Reina. Made in heaven. So now it's, yeah, now it's <laughs> Made in the heaven. Made in the heaven. Made in the heaven. Made in the heaven. Homina, homina, homina. Yeah, that's me right now. Homina, homina, homina. <sighs> I'm going to switch back into Unbroken Stride. Step over the edge of the wall. And as if I am just running, but running on the air, can get to here. Okay. So she steps off the wall, and then all of a sudden, as if she's just still moving on solid ground, as she makes her way, she runs her way forward to dash right next to the prince. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? And how did you get here? Answer me. Is that an intimidation check? Sure, why not? If you'll allow it. I will. Or is just like gritting or gritting and clenching our teeth. Really tight grip on the uh, 32. Uh, my what? glare my glare is deadly venomous. Okay. I, I think your glare might be more venomous than my fucking needle. <laughs> There's a reason you guys don't like to have her cross with you. Oh yeah. She's okay. very scary. Give me just a second. DC is ten plus <laughs> his hit die, which would be his level in this case, plus his wisdom modifier. Ten plus this man's hit die. The DC, Plus okay. wisdom modifier. Yep, okay. DC. Okay. To determine if he is shaken, it is oh, a mind-affecting right. effect. Unless he other, it is a mind-affecting, so if he has, like, magic items that boost it, or if he's immune to fear effects, so on and so forth. I see, okay. Give me one second. Or if he has, like, bravery. I think bravery from a fighter also adds to your DC for intimidation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Assuming he was a fighter, but I don't know. So, ten plus wisdom plus uh, ten plus hit die plus wisdom. Hit die. Okay, okay. Gotcha. cool guy. Plus whatever else is relevant, like bonuses okay. against fear. Okay, so uh, the man <laughs> didn't seem to be taking you seriously before, but now he's turned to face you properly. He's not just looking at you, he's looking at you. That's fine. Look at me. Look at me! Uh... Doesn't really have a turn on the initiative, but, uh, he will say to you... Sorry, so what did you say? You said, who are you? Who are you? How did you get here? Answer me. I traveled here over many days and moons. I walked over the mountains. I come searching for your master, I believe. that I will say he just kind of reaches out one leg and lets himself fall forward off of the crenellations just here 
so now standing level with you. As he does, you see he lands on one foot, which you you might just see the the barest gritting of his teeth as he lands. Mm -hmm. Which means that his leg hurts. He got the leg hurty. Mm -hmm. He's old, so that's fair. Yeah. Is that what a stanky leg is? I fucking got it. I'm sorry, mm. I'm dying. Roll, roll, me, roll me a perception check. Yes. Leona. Leona, uh, and I'll give it to uh, Rena and Florentina as well. nearby. You're nearby. 22. No, I'm locked in at this guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> you see bloody bandages. Uh, bloody bandages uh, slightly pierce through, uh, the, through beneath his clothing uh, as the blood kind of soaks onto his clothes from where his leg is. You also notice several other blood stains across the clothing he wears under his pelt. So I imagine at this point it's better to probably ask, is anybody else wanting to continue to do things during their turns, or are we just going to continue the conversation? So... Mm -hmm. Again, I'm ready with a sleep needle to go if he tries anything funny, so I if think that's me and you unless want, want me to let loose. If you want to just say you are you are prepared to do things, I mean, he's not going to catch you in a surprise round. Yep. That is fair. I am prepped to unleash sleep needle if he does anything, okay. air quote, funny. Okay, in that case. A.K.A. this man better not tell a joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Mm-hmm. All right. In that case, I will end structured time. Oh, and I'll let you guys just move up as you please. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gave up? Okay. Yeah, just be careful not to get so close that he's like, doesn't, he's like, yep, time, done talking, time to defend myself. So. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm more standing right next to Averin rather than necessarily approaching him, but of course, the tip of my rapier is constantly pointed roughly at about his throat. So. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna be holding... You know, slightly in a lowered ready stance, you know, one hand on the hip, the other up. I'm fine where I am. Okay. Alright. So, as you guys have now surrounded him, Averin, uh... He looks to, uh, he looks to you, Leona, and says, You didn't tell us we had a visitor. There isn't supposed to be a visitor. Not so oh. long ago. Well, uh, um... Averin, come here. By me and Maiden in Heaven. Pointing to the open space next to me and Maiden. Mm -hmm. You cannot help but see how close this man's spear is to Averin. But... Oh, I have plenty of things prepared if it, if it matters, so... But Iverin looks to the man. He does not seem to look back at him. And he walks beside you and the man does not react. I will but I will se seriously though. Uh, he, Florentina, you, you would like this guy. He's a uh, um I, 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 I stare at him. He she, he oh, stopped no. speaking. <laughs> Mommy Angie. Oh no. All the, mom, all the mommies Angie. <laughs> yep. yep. Mm. In fact, in fact, I'll uh as Averin A whole bunch moves, of mama bears. Yeah. As Averin moves to this spot, I'll actually like uh subtly guide him with a hand <laughs> behind me and I'll stand in that spot. Yeah. That's uh, called castling, by the way. Yeah. Castling <laughs> uh, uh, the prince. I'm holding <laughs> I'm holding a spell. You're the, the second he does anything Untoward. that leads me to believe that that he is is uh, 
um, is being aggressive going or on, on the offensive. Yeah. yeah. Same reason as I am. My needles I am straight, holding. Yeah. I am holding scorching ray. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay. Would we want to wait for that to go if my sleep fails, or... Well, there's not really a... You, you, that can be an agreement in the collective, I guess. I don't know. We could be talking yeah, in I'm the collective sorry. at the same time. Always yes. remember that. Um, which so, immediate also... actions immediately happen, and which ones immediately happen after? Yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, let's just put it like this. Immediate ones immediate, immediate Here, and the immediary? Here's the easy answer to all of this. We're stating what we'll do when combat starts, but no specific thing has happened, right? There's no readying yeah. actions outside of combat. There's none of that. Although yeah. there is putting the poison on the needle, right? Yeah. Yes. And if if Flam's spell actually did require being held, you could cast yeah. that beforehand. Scorching Ray isn't actually held like say Shocking Grasp is. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. would just, you're just saying, I'm ready to cast Scorching Ray, basically. Yep. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. But if you I... were, say, I wanted to cast Shocking Grasp and then have that in my hand ready to go, you could do that. Yep. So. Yep. Mm. Actually, I am ready um... to whack. <laughs> whack. So, whack, whack. We are outside of combat now. Yeah. Ooh. I am holding the man's gaze. Oh, I'm <laughs> <just> holding <laughs> yours. Roll me Knowledge Marshal. Sure. I think I'm. Oh, I think I might know what he might do. Fifteen. Piecing together what we've learned. I am, so, you know, I'm competent enough in my knowledge of things, you know. I know more than the average. He... You can tell that this guy is a very, very experienced combatant. Can I tell anything about his class, or no? Uh... It's entirely up to you if Marshall's even allowed to reach into that range. I, I personally, like to I like using Marshall to kind of, yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm, Knowledge Arcana, for example, a wizard could tell you're a wizard, you're a sorcerer, you're a this, you're a that. I, Religion is, I could tell you're a cleric, an oracle, or this, right? So. I entirely agreed with you, and I had rules for it for Northern, but since we had Knowledge Marshall in this campaign, I decided to use that instead. Uh, I'd say with that role, I'll tell you he's an initiator. Oh, Yep, then I would have known that. Mean? Then I would have known that too. Then. <laughs> so. What does that mean? After he steps down for a second. He's used path of war. It means path of war. Yeah. So after he steps down, assuming he says nothing else, I'm watching his stance. Can I? T is he in a stance or is he just standing? I will say he is standing exactly like he is in his picture. He's got his uh, pole arm over his shoulder. And he's staring at you. So he's not in a stance of some kind. Got it. Maybe, maybe because he's not m willing to fight, or maybe because he doesn't see you as a threat. You do not know. Ah, I love that. Ooh, one. Well, that's so, real funny for someone who's walking in technical difficult terrain right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking him up and down for a second, assuming he hasn't said anything after he after he came down seems to be taking the measure of you, but has not spoken. Not just any normal warrior, are you? You know of arts similar to my homeland? Ones that perhaps come from yours? Indeed. My sword, too. And most of you. I take it that you are the warriors of this household. You are the protectors of this place, you are warriors of a garb I have never seen before. The Maidens Grey, servants of the House of Roswald. I did not know that this clan had warriors such as you in its service. I will note it. But you say you are servants of the Roswald. Yes. King Roswald. I. So I was correct in my 
assumptions, this is, in fact, the right place. He then takes his spear and plants it in the ground with a loud clang. Take me to your king. I wish... Oh, um, not bad. I wish to challenge him. We Someone don't have a king yet. Well, I, 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 yeah. So, um, about that, um... All right, I'll, uh, I'll continue to try to handle uh, things unless someone else wants to speak up. I, so. I, 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 I am, that, but... look, And if you have but, something um, to say, you can always collect of it, remember, so. Yeah, I, I don't want to say, oh, God. <laughs> and poor Averin is just hearing but the also, chatter. Yeah, probably yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> shit, all these voices in my head. Yeah, don't forget, <laughs> don't forget I Averin's I in just here. Say, literally out loud like oh yeah so i'm about that and then in the collective i go oh my fucking god what do we say what do we say <laughs> we have if, one of those. uh i i, I mean if, if uh i, I if you're I, yeah okay. if you're referring to king alvor he has um i'm trying i'm trying to think if i would uh she Okay, so let me try and explain her frame of thought. Just seeing, just seeing his face, she's almost tempted to like. She, she's almost went right back into her old intonations of you know, ascended to Valhalla type of thing. Uh huh. Um, but she'll kind of catch herself and be like, and and meet meet it halfway and say. His fight on this world is ended. I just look back and forth between Florentina and this man. As he's and just... she is. You, you can now see that she is uh, stealing her composure. She is. Her, in, her voices in the collective have been short and uh, staccato and just not very well thought out. And that and... is where he turns around and stares at you. And can you roll me a bluff check, please? Bluff? Hide that you are not his. I subject. would like to. I would like to tell you no. I cannot. <laughs> uh, I can't help. Good luck. I am pleased to inform you. His, you. He looks at you, and his eyes narrow judgmentally. Right. Give me a second to think. Such a man, I have heard stories of, of great skill and valor. And I assume that his children are here, this boy. He is the head of a great dynasty, and you mean to tell me that he has fallen? Age claims us all. Mm -hmm. She was going to probably follow that too. Such the great equalizer. <laughs> Age. I mm. uh, from one human. Well, especially for we humans. Even one day, the, even one day, the shade comes for us all. Question. <laughs> quick, quick, quick question. Uh, Go ahead. And and this might be something that Goody can add to his uh, response. Is it's there a answer. god of death for the northern realms? Oh, there is. And I there to, is. I'm gonna find the uh, document because I would have. In a, I can I can tell you in a um, in a roundabout way. Okay. Uh, Eris. The Everest of Winter is 
in some ways she is a, a repose goddess. Okay. Uh, not not in the same way Lunaeus is, who is, you know, he Very is, he is the sort of yeah. the father. His is of a more death. his is more of a soft repose, whereas hers is like you've been frozen in fucking ice. Sort mm. of. It's more like all our bodies go cold eventually. Yep. Gotcha. Everybody yep. is embraced by Eris. Eventually. And I probably would have done that if we had a, would have had maids at the sign of a month's time. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to reword, go ahead. Yeah. Much the same as Eris. And she'll, I'll just, you know, comma. Much the same Eris comes for all. You mean to tell me he died of old age? Mm. For such a warrior to die in such a way. It is dishonorable, not right. Ah, but that means that my stories are outdated indeed. He seems to be cursing in some foreign language which only Florentina understands. That is not good. I've come so far. And for... Oh. This puts me in a difficult place. Do you have any idea what my journey meant? How far I have come? What I have gone through? just to see that man. And now I come to his kingdom and I find the only thing in worthy of, of a worthy combatant in his heir is a boy. Can I step in in this one? Sure. Um, okay, let me, let me, um, but let me just just uh, word it. While he's doing that, out of curiosity, oh. Solar, would I have known of any why? Like, if this was some kind of like pilgrim's journey of some sort or something? No, this was this was more like a crusade. Because <laughs> you remember he mm. uh, he planted if... the spear to challenge their king. Mm. He, uh, I'm, I'm, you know of, you know of honor duels being a very common practice in the north, but, uh, you don't know why he would come all this way? Um, I, I will just whisp, um, uh, saying to the, 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 the collective to polycule stop. <laughs> To, into the polycule if you want uh, <laughs> to stop just, me if 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 I'm I overstep uh, to stop me if I overstep um, but I'm gonna like uh, put my foot down and tell this uh, this man while King Alfor is gone we are more than capable of taking scum like you in so why don't you pick one of us we for this challenge? We do not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you. And I am going to try to intimidate him with that, by the way. Go ahead. So, uh... The shrinking pinpricks of pupils on Florentina's face when she says that. Um, she, she's just like, like just the very show on the face of just being like, what the fuck did she just say? Oh, she, no. He, she, 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 she doing the, she doing the big. Um, and his eye, his attention then turns on you, Flam. You mean to tell me that you are also of his blood, of you are also rulers of his kingdom, that you would fight in his place? 
people like this Jordan. is something you are capable of. We the royal. Oh. So, I'm going to go ahead and speak up here. Mm -hmm. We are maids and protectors of the house of Roswald. The man you have come for is gone. Might you tell me why you search for King Alvor? And you never answered my first question. Who are you? Very well. I can see that you are warriors of notable stature. You deserve proper introduction. And then he lifts his uh, halberd back up and places it on his shoulder. I am Jorvan, warlord of Clan Eraheimer, the Fjordfarer, the raider of the Eastern Sea. I was the ruler of my land, the Inher the Eraheimer. It was mine to protect. And now, I have come to decide that the war between your people and mine has come too long. It has gone on too long, and you send demons after us. You send monsters of men. You commit foul horrors upon my people, so I have decided no more. I have come to challenge your king to a duel for the right to my people. So, if you have the authority to make such decisions for your clan, then I would bid you take up your sword. But as far as I am concerned, you are mere house guard. You are warriors, but not rulers. So I, 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 I kind of want to charge him so bad. Most, I will. <laughs> I will say out of character to ready. you all. It's, you know, we're also out of character, but also kind of in the collective at the same time. You know, it's, do we want to fight him? Because the response I was going to give was, then we will take you to who is currently ruling in chains. That's what I wanted to say. Do you want me to initiate <laughs> something like that? So, all right. That's why I'm asking. I'm asking. No, I know, I know. And th this out of character thing works hilariously well for the uh, for the collective. No, sorry, I mean polycule. Um, so, um, I'm sorry, Ebony. It was just so funny. Um, so here's on the one hand, chaotic. I love the idea, but he there is no fucking chance he would go with it because the current top runner outside of this whole thing we're finagling with the duke is uh jo is a uh, joran and that would be you know kind of a thing off our shoulders but at the same time that's basically like hey let's escort this mad raider from the north over to fucking joran's territory yeah that's gonna look real fucking good in the eyes of the people who want to put the queen in place well note that i also said in chains but no, no, I understand. I understand. I, I, I also said that a little bit to more. Beat him into submission and chain him up. Yeah, no, I also thought I, I also said that a little bit more aggressively than I intended. I think my, it's just because my brain's going a mile of like fucking quarter You're mile fine. a minute. Don't worry. <laughs> You're fine. So we're supposed to have brains. <laughs> and on the other hand, um, Solar, what would do? Do we? Out of in the game storyline mode, no. Um, if this thing goes well with the Duke, when that coronation might end up being, there was would that probably a, be several months of negotiations if, afterwards. If yeah. it would, you, you, oh. oh, Abby had to go. I yeah, think. Abby, um, Abby, no. yeah. Oh. yeah, it's okay. We can, we can, we can. Uh, don't worry. I have, yeah. I have plans of where we can uh, probably call it to a, a bit of an end soon, but. Yep. We'll, keep, we'll carry on with the conversation. So, 
Uh, I can tell you that should everything go well, everything go positively, uh, yeah, it would have. It would probably be a lot easier to get Elia on the throne and uh, start a coronation because he's remember he's a he's a big player on the side of things uh, who don't of people who don't want her on the throne. <laughs> she could turn a lot of people over. Um, so it wouldn't be months of negotiating, I imagine. Alternatively, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't be immediately either. It'd be like maybe a week or a two few weeks. Alternatively, few weeks. if I clear this man's head off his shoulders <laughs> and <laughs> present it, that? present it to the duke. I feel like our choice becomes mm. very, very um, mm. agreeable. You feel me, maiden? No, we no, don't no, negotiate no, with no. terrorists, as I said. <laughs> Which is why, you know, my my thought is, if this man has said he is the ruler of the North, basically, as far as I'm concerned, the way he stated it, maybe it's not exactly correct, but as far as I interpreted it, he is the ruler of the Northern Realms. That being the case, it's if he's here we take him in you know although yeah. i am also a warrior i understand the ideals of the honor duel but it's like and something he else invaded, I... you know he kind of he kind uh, of just showed up unannounced he, he just showed with up our charge that we're protecting yeah also I kind of say he's in the yeah. shitter zone yeah he he made his bed and now he's gonna sleep in it six right. feet under. <laughs> now, now hold up here. Uh -huh. So I have been mentally compiling a whole bunch of shit too from the previous sessions. Uh huh. We know this guy is an initiator. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And while we may have action economy, don't forget we heard about some kind of like Pete some. Northerners in the vicinity, or just rumors of scouts seeing them, or whatever, mm -hmm. and that I remember that I th I'm pretty sure I made a Marshall check once about ones that use like the Moon Veil or whatever it is type of style that is teleporting bullshit. He could just as easily just if we start shit, he could easily <laughs> teleport to the prince or prince to uh, or to him, and just lob his head off in the process. I don't Which is think... why points to the sleeping me. If he's a if he's a fighter, he's got a good he's got a good fortitude. Mm -hmm. Damn it. It'll be difficult. If he's as powerful as is, I mean I'm very good at defending people, but I don't know how long I could last that, because this is the other reason yeah. I added the prince to the collective, which now means that I can block damage for him, I can do a whole bunch of things. But I don't know how long that would last. You make a good point. He is very dangerous, and if he decided, you know what, I will spite you. So you make a good point. It's, but you know, mm. I don't know. I almost feel like the answer that I would give would still be, then we will take you to who can in chains. That's what I feel like I'd still say because this man is an enemy. I I have I have an idea for something. Sure. It, like and. Say if we could say something like, if you want this war to end as much as we do, then yeah, but that's yeah, because that's kind of our thing that we don't want the war to continue. We're literally working with a northerner to try to you know. So like each of us has our reasons for it, but ultimately we're all in agreement to some sense that I'm the just war not should racist. End. <laughs> Wait, oh, well, because all right, do you guys mind if I try a little something here? Go What's for that? it. In I, terms of it makes negotiation wise, you uh, would be the top so in the, in the collective, you gently nudge the "let me handle it" for a second. And I, you, I can tell that he's a northerner. He sat there and said, said as much. I remember what you yeah. told me, so I will. This is. I will give it to you. Yeah, I will. Tr I'm is... going. This is me choosing to give you trust. Hopefully, it's your culture. that means something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it's not even just like, hey, uh, I think you're going to betray us or this or that. I'm giving you the no. trust. So. Yeah. Um, first, Solar. Uh, and if you would kindly end my enlarged person spell for me. Okay. I want to do this on the level with him. I'm going to take off my uh, I'm going to take off my gauntlet to show a very recent still probably bandaged scar and show it and like just put my hand to the side to kind of just showcase for him to, to observe and she will okay. steal herself and say You are not the only one here, Jorvan, who wishes to see this war come to an end as swift as possible. This is the result of a promise I made to another, to another of the North, that once we see, that once we see Once, that once we see a path carved to a mightier ruler, to a might, to a strong-willed ruler who can end the conflict and de-escalate it, then it, then that promise will be kept. Is it maybe worth? I'll just add this in. I apologize. No, go ahead, please. What I, the only thing I suggest is also kind of the. You have to remember, this man doesn't know what's going on in this place. So, mm -hmm. you should begin by stating as there is none on the throne as of the moment. And then you could, you know, show your thing and say, but we are working towards getting, you know, and once we can get a strong-willed ruler on the throne, because we are trying to end the war, blah, 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 like you were saying. So yeah, basically, just, just begin, it, begin it by letting him know there is no one on the throne. And then Thank you, you. continue. I, let's... Pretend that yeah, I yeah. framed that to start. <laughs> You're good. Okay. And would I have known the uh, tribe that uh, Inesh was from? I think I missed the name right. Enam. Enam, thank you. Uh, yes, because you Gijiwa? know his last name. Gijiwa. What a silly yeah. tribe name. I wonder who thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I think it sounds cute. It does. <laughs> like, shut up. Shut up! <laughs> no, you. There was a promise okay. I made to one to one of the of the Jijiwa tribe. <sighs> I just want. No, go. No, go. Keep going. You, it is. It is worth noting that we too have our own resolve. She says that she kind of tends to uh, tends to the uh, the wound just to you know, check to see how it's been healing type of thing. In character, not mechanically. Yeah. It's been like a day, so there's probably it's probably very, it's still very fresh. Yeah. Not necessarily bleeding, but you know. Fresh. No, probably still like the telltale signs of coloration from you still, Spotting. you don't have any hit point damage, but you know, there's still a mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's still a mark. Preventing the con damage. Yeah. Mm. Sideways right. for attention, long ways for results. Uh, mm. <laughs> so, if that's what you say. First of all, step, step. How much tall? How, how tall is he, Solar? Yeah, I should have wrote, wrote this down because I sh I somehow knew you were going to ask me that. Well, I mean, it's just because I'm tall solid. too, and if I'm if I'm looking even <laughs> higher than me, then that's and I just want to be able to know. <laughs> uh, six four. Oh, so I'm like a couple inches taller. <laughs> All right. You guys are about nice. much taller. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Well, with his gear. In, term, in terms of prowess, he is taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> in, 
In terms of the room, he is taller than mm-hmm. you. The camera so. looks up at him and down at you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fair enough. First of all. Yeah, whenever it's shot, reverse shot. <laughs> <laughs> he stares down at you. <laughs> it's probably the cleats. Did I add like three inches or something? Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> First of all, do not insult me by claiming that your clan does not want war with mine. That, even if you do not wish for it, is a bold lie, and one that you would not understand if you have not seen what I have seen. You send demons against us. You burn tribes, kill innocent children. You kill people who had no intention of defending themselves, people who were not warriors, people who do not know what it means to be one. So do not speak of such things to me. Second of all, you mean to tell me that no one is on your kingdom's throne right now? You mean to tell me that there is no one, no successor for this great warrior I have heard of, this great dragon slayer? We're working on it. You mean to tell me that the only heirs he has is this boy? Your kingdom is full. <sighs> he just seems to he seems to at the moment he he places his hand on his nose as if he's frustrated. Yeah, me too, man. Such are the complexities of civilizations, are they not? Such are the complexities of your civilization. Or looks you up and down. What is now? your civilization. Uh, He turns away from you. Uh, This... uh, This is not good. This... I was was tempted to... I I was so tempted to put something in his face about my hometown. (laughs) Damn. What was the last thing he said, Solar? I'm sorry. He He said, this puts my whole... Mission in jeopardy. Got you. I came here in the hopes and my prayers. I hoped that this King Alvor would be a man of honor, someone who would accept an honor duel, someone who would pit his blade against mine and I find no combatant none yet still he seems to be talking more to himself now yeah, still, he's mad he got cough blocked by yeah, death yeah. my my children my people the only combatant I face, I can find is... The hand around his uh, spear tightens, though he does not move it. You do not even, you do not even need to roll sense motive that something is on his mind. My grip tightens on my rapier as well. Mm-hmm. Same for mine. What to do, man? A kingless clan. It's 
<sighs> he seems to pace. So, uh, I'm I just think trying maybe to the, the, the knight should maybe usher the boys, the boy inside, maybe. I'll I I'll go ahead and just uh, turn and gesture to the knights to to take him away, to poke him, point at the boy over the shoulder, get out, basically. Mm -hmm. I'll fight him if you need. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh. <laughs> you just hear in the in, in the collective in the collective in the, in the collective. <laughs> oh, I can fight him. No, no, no. no. Just, okay. just, just, just this one, one unified no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, two gods will take him away. <laughs> take him away. I don't want him to see me do this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want to remain silent at this point. I'm just trying to think what to say. Yep. Go ahead. I'm thinking he's a powerful warrior. It's very obvious that even if if we take him, there's still a chance that it could go badly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm of so, the opinion that it most likely will go badly. <laughs> I'm also of the opinion that we do not negotiate with terrorists and that we must use unholy amounts of ordinance to rid ourselves of the, this man. I am under the understanding that this man has shitty timing. If you yes. just come and like a few months from now when we had everything sorted the shit would have been dealt with <laughs> and he's just a dank he's just a dank but he's also well based on the way he's saying it you know we kind of seem to be the dicks just saying well, and yeah. he's too perspective. Bad. yes too he bad. needs to understand <laughs> so that he, our he... tribe is not one we got a lot of sections too Mm -hmm. You know, we got a lot of bits, and ours is the bit that wants to stop the war. And, you know, he needs to stop saying that I killed people, because, like, while well, I killed people, none of them were in the north. <laughs> yeah. They were all Where were you? Where were you <laughs> for Helfa of Fornerth? <laughs> so. Like, he doesn't know me coming in here, acting well. like he knows who I've killed. Since since you're talking about that, um, I will put something forward. Um, something that he's saying that doesn't sit right with you guys and what you know. He's saying that he seems to be insinuating that your clan, as it were, has unleashed quote unquote demons against oh, yeah, his. That's right. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I'm... definitely. The dude I've would just have chosen not probably... to address it. The Duke would have probably <laughs> summoned demons against them, you know. And also, yeah, I, Demon of Man, of... that's definitely got to be Joran and his retinue. Which, you yeah, know... Yeah, we've got some big old shitters up there, and that's which, why you know, we want to take them out. It, it, you know. it, kind of, it kind of gives Maiden a little, bit of, a, bit, a little bit of pride to know that her Duke is the one that he's scared of. <laughs> because she is from Gontakill. Oh. So, it would be. I would imagine that it's um, at least maybe for some of us. Yeah, I, I don't know how to put this right. Those of us that are not from the north, sure, we want the war to end. We all have our reasons for it, right? Not necessarily. It's like you know, oh, because you know we want to save all these lives. This that. It's like mm, we all have our reasons, but <laughs> I'm just not racist. Well, I gave Florentine a trust. Come on. I know. I'm just being <laughs> facetious. I'm fr I have I have a northern friend. Oh my! That's what they all say. Fucking it. This is more out of respect for this man's power, but the way I want to put this is, you know. Your quest has come up dry. This is your chance to turn around and leave. Return to your lands. 
we plan to get this ended. The demons as well. You, it, I probably won't even address that, right. actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. As if it's either it's not worth addressing, essentially. Right. Yeah. They are tools and, of my war. Guy, I'm not even from this plane. Like I don't I, really want me. I mean, Leona is also technically not even from this kingdom originally, but you know that's beside the point. I, I know, right? I, 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 I want to put it down to this. Basically, it's a you have two options. You may leave of your own accord, or you will die. Basically. Yes. So, yes. I just want to put it down to that because at this point, that's the only options we're going to have, and I'm willing yeah. to give it to him because he is a powerful leader, and we've told him we are ending this on our side. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if he doesn't want to see reason on that, although I understand, you know, me being me, I also understand it's like you know more people will die. Yeah. Okay. I get mm -hmm. it. But so that's only problem, problem. Less this, in the long this run. is this is me seeing it. I'm not talking about Leona's perspective. So. Would, the, would this be have been the first time we heard about, you know, demons and summoning that sort of thing? Um, I imagine Romy. that Leona had been on some front lines. She probably got some of her experience up there. But that would have been, you know, because I'm trying to figure where she's gained all her experience from fighting. And some of it was from further south. Some of it was from bandits. Some of it was from being on a front in the north. But that doesn't mean that she ever saw anything necessarily. Yeah. Is that okay um, to say, Solar? I would say that's okay to say. So, roll me okay. sense motive, and Florentina, roll me a... Uh, his, uh, roll me... Uh, roll me local. I don't have it. Damn it. Okay, I guess intelligence. you kind of... Yeah. Can you roll me a straight intelligence? Sure. Can I also roll that sense motive as well? Yes, you can. Is a sense motive from all of us, or just them two? Uh, from all of you. Okay. I wanted to double check before I made a weird little rolly roll, you know? Okay. Yeah. Not even enough to aid someone. Oof. It's so, not what you do. What yeah. you do is whack. What I do is whack, yeah. I have built myself for a very specific purpose. So, but after whatever Solar says, I feel like the best thing is, in respect to his power, we give him the option, you can leave now, and we will handle things, or just leave it in the air, and he'll know exactly what we mean. So, that's what I see. Okay, so, I'm sorry this is rolling on a little bit longer. Um, no, you're fine. You're I'm fine. taking okay. my time answering all your questions. Um, yeah. You're fine, we're asking. Okay, so. With the sense motive, when he talks about demons, you kind of get the idea that he might not be being literal. As, as more as he is not speaking his first language and he's trying to find the right words. Yep. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, he's talking uh, about Jorin. <laughs> and yeah, that man is kind of fucked up. As for your role, not Leona, uh, Florentina. Not you. She not you. Seven. Not you. You. <laughs> you, the one in the skirt. Oh wait. <laughs> oh wait. That's all of us. The, the one with the um, long. Uh, the, the brunette. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you are digging through your mind to see what you can remember about this guy you remember is that your tribe didn't have too fond memories of this guy as a ruler you remember he wasn't such a attentive ruler to you he was no, very no, no, no. much a warlord So, less that he protected that... more you and more that he ruled you. Yes. So, the like for example, you know the whole situation with your tribe leader, which he did nothing about. No, he didn't. 
So, the fact that he has shown up now saying, I am, I have walked across the Scarenhurf Mountains with an injured leg just to challenge your ruler for the sake of my people is not something you would expect from him. Yeah, he walked. My brother bled and bled dry for him. Oh, we're gonna need to unpack that. Once again. What? No negotiation with terrorists. <laughs> so so what you going to say? Poison on someone. I am Shh, just saying. Just put this this man is in a change. I think he could break them. He could hmm. break those cuffs very easily. You can't say break, break those cuffs. You, he can break the cuffs. He can't re-sew on his head after I play T-ball with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I think he could break those cuffs. <sighs> Should we give him the option to leave or are we just going to fight? Because at this point, I only see those two options. Fight or he's given the option to leave. I don't no. see any other. I, I don't I see any like other path here. If he gets the option to leave and someone finds out about it, our stake for anything gets kind of lessened. I feel like bringing his head to the meeting would kind I'm, of like strengthen our claims. I'm actually. To... <sighs> mm. We could just say. I, then your I don't want to say is, violence. But we could say then your quest has come up dry. And I guess that we will have to end up being the ones to take to take uh to take you on i guess almost i don't yeah. know we're not, we, not we are not doing on that but look this would also make probably make wartide things even worse and even more difficult to end it's true if we kill him yeah uh, what's the answer? Hey, Solar, can I, like, roll for God to tell me something? <laughs> uh, what, I need what, something uh, that's more a, specific than that. Nah, nah that's an <laughs> augury. Uh, uh, yeah. What, let me ask this again. What's he looking like he wants to do right now? What's he doing? Let, let's put it down. Here's, okay. So that we can hopefully end this, right? Maybe Leona can put it like this. In respect to your power and respect to what you have chosen to do to try to end this war. We will give you the option to leave and return to your people. We plan to end this on our side. You may choose that, or you may choose death. to end your quest with death. The choice is yours. How do those two options sound? How does that, that sound? That sounds perfect. Because if we're That's worried, it's like, oh, it could cause problems. It's like, okay, all this is running through our heads. And it's like, well, mm -hmm. if you truly mean for peace then leave peacefully. Yes. So, what do you guys think? I like it. Mm -hmm. If you truly mean for peace, then leave peacefully and don't come back. Specifically. Yep. Yeah. Those are the op. So that's what I see. If uh, I'm not hearing any objections, so I I'm like go it. ahead. I'm good with whatever. I, like it. I honestly, you're not sure. I'm biased. So. I want to use my poisons. <laughs> <but> like... <laughs> Same. I want to. We, we all want to fight. We really I do. Wanna... Mm, I got to <laughs> yeah. Oh, these oh. these powerful builds I've given you. You're just itching uh, to I'm use just... them, but no. No, you can't. No, know. this was Solar's edging campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, don't worry about it, Kai. We can rework poison. Fucking uh, yeah. fucking. I, wouldn't, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you guys love it so much if I, we just got to the end of this campaign and you didn't fight anyone? I would honestly, oh, be, I I would honestly find that hilarious. Know. But but <laughs> if it was a satisfying story, I would yeah. be totally fine with it. I'm with Wooten. Well, I'm, I'm, I am I'm, not because I spent like... Four days <laughs> poison, and I will be really. Pissed. I'm 
<laughs> I'm sure you'll get to fight someone if you play your cards right. But what well, I mainly ask that did. you do. Too bad it was a construct. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Well, all you I know ask what? that you do is you we'll play see. your characters. We'll see. Well, I'm let's, gonna let's see what the let's see what let. Well, I guess it all depends on how choices. his response is. Yep. No. We'll see how Leona's response, how Leona's, uh, how Leona places it. I'm just gonna say I'm vibrating next to her, <laughs> itching, itching Same. for a fight because this You're man have a went very up against bad needle trigger finger this man I, i'm just going to say this man went up against my duke and lived i want to fight him <laughs> maiden wants to fight him so badly you're just a goku up in here you're just oh yes, man let's fight she is such a goku right now <laughs> I but understand. I want but to we'll defer to Leona because she's Maybe. the one in charge. I so, will defer to the people that have more brain power than me right now. I am running mm -hmm. on mucus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I will say to him, you brought his thing up so I can go look at his name here real quick. Yeah. Uh, there he is. <clears throat> Yorvin of Clan Erahemar, the current enemy of our kingdom. <laughs> if you truly mean for peace, we have told you that a strong-willed ruler will be put upon this throne that will end the war. You may choose... Ch hold up. <clears throat> If you truly mean for peace, this is your one chance to leave peacefully. Return to your lands. Do not return. That's it. I got a night night needle. This is interesting. <laughs> oh yeah yeah we're putting the I ball to, I, I think i also forgot to add in that your quest has come up dry there is no but that's fine. i didn't yeah so. fine. that's fine um sorry to blue ball seems you. to stop he stops he stops pacing and he the reason stop. i offer it is that in my head it's the politicking of like you guys were saying should he be dead you know making it it's like we, you know, oh, you want peace, but you killed our king, you know that kind of shit. So you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks you in the eyes. <laughs> he is most certainly looking down at me, for I am five foot six. Yep. And you're looking down at me. <laughs> I'm five foot the one, four. The one that you wish to crown. The one that you would make your ruler. They truly do not want war with the North. You swear this? She's currently being treated by one of your shamans. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I not all shamans are in the same tribe. <laughs> so, <laughs> damn. We didn't say the tribe, but we just said the North. I'm not racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of racist. Anyway, what are you going to say? Um, so, just thinking back real quick, Elia, for sure, like, you know, when she was talking to uh, Inam, was she is wanting to end the war. So, just double checking. Yes. I'm sure I'm sure I'm right on it. Okay. Yes. And then... You want some dinner before you go? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I made extra. We do not feed the terrorists, Reyna. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, I will end, I will say... Upon the sword of Zealous, I swear this to be true. Hmm. Even your god sounds strange. Bitch. <laughs> and name him. Excuse so, me. Uh, I'm going to make a roll real quick. You know, if you keep, you know, if you, 
if people kept getting rezzed up there and then die again and then rezzed again, that's just called an heiress wheel, right? <laughs> oh my god, god, god. Out. <laughs> out. Out. Oh god. There's the door. Um I can't fit. Too tall. <laughs> Fuck you. Well maybe you should crouch. <laughs> you see his eyes are tired yet very wise. Then as a warrior, one to another. Believe you. In truth, when I came here, I knew that perhaps this man I had never met would have rejected my challenge for a duel. He would have perhaps not been the honorable man that I have supposed he is. And in that case, I planned to, if he would not fight me, <coughs> then instead, I would fall to my knees and I would offer him my spear and I would beg for my people's safety, for him to pull that Shut infernal up. man Fuck. out of my my people. Oh, yes. well, I want to tell him to shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. You can say it if you want. No. I'm sure you. Yeah. I'm giving you one chance. I'm just gonna say that she is just tightens up with fury when she starts talking about beg to save my people and would and like falling on his knees to beg to save his people and uh, offer his spear and all that and all that. All she these, is tightening all these platitudes. Up. She looks like she wants to fucking lob his head off right now. <laughs> I positioned my sleep needle. Like, in the collective, you. you probably you probably hear very similar unfamiliar swear words. Yeah, as I stated, I just a little bit of a flick of the wrist, you know, and the needle's kind of your way. You understand. We've been through this. You'll hmm. get extra dinner. <laughs> anyway, continue. Anyway. He's continuing. I love you. <clears throat> that was my intention. That they may call back the <sighs> creature that uh made a mockery of my warriors that killed my people, burned my tribes, killed my children. Mm. Now, you tell me that even then, you would rather me go free. He looks back to you. You mean to say that even that I done that, I have come here for nothing? It appears that your quest has run dry. And thinking on a situation beyond merely an honor duel is the only reason I offer you a chance to leave. That is admirable. Very well. If that 
is what you would wish, then I will do it. I mean... No one here. Any harm. I came here looking for an honorable fight, but I see there is none. Therefore... If that is the case, I will take my leave. Though... Before that... I would speak of you. I would have... I would speak of... What... My people... Have gone through, if... Your heir would hear it. For... You seem... He looks around to all of you. You seem... You seem to say that you are not of Joran's kind. One of us here is, but we won't say anything about that. If that <laughs> is the case, I would share with you the tales, the horrors, what is going on in the north? Should you not wish to listen, then I will merely take my leave. I'll listen. I'm. <laughs> I'm I'll a... listen. I want to hear of all the great things that Mike. <laughs> collective. Mike do. To the collective. I'm of Jordan's kind, but I'll lie. <laughs> Fuck just em. don't Fuck say em. anything. Yeah, just don't say anything. <laughs> Fuck them. Do we want to listen? Wait, is yep. is <laughs> is is Averid still in the collective? Has he been hearing yes. all of this? God damn it! I, he, yes, he's never left. He he never. Oh left. my god! Never he left. heard me say that I want yeah. to play t ball with his head. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. So swear words. <laughs> oh my god! He's gonna ask you what those all mean later. Oh boy. Fair enough. Good day, boy. Fair enough. Okay. Well, as long as you're oh. here, let's hear it. I will lower my blade very slightly. In that case, I'll... I won't. <laughs> I'll keep mine square on my shoulder, just like he's holding his spear. <laughs> he the needle is going back towards him. See, he... it's an interesting thought, though, that because if Averin's here hearing this, seeing this side of us, I wonder what he'll think afterwards. I guess we'll see. Mm. Guess we'll see. Mm. So. And while you're working on that solar, I just want to say to Goody, if there's a chance, um, out because I have I, I have an idea for a role play I want to do with Florentina probably the day after this, mm -hmm. but I don't want to take up session time doing it. Would you want to possibly do something? Um, Written up up until the next. Yeah, do write something up. Sure. Yeah, we can work that out. Okay, because I just don't mm -hmm. want to use up session time unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good. Uh, I'll bring this to a close after uh, he has uh, said his piece. Okay. Okay. He walks over to the crenellation, stabs his spear into the ground, destroying the uh, pave work. Can you not do that? <laughs> Leans against, in the in the Leans against the crenellation. <laughs> Whole castle collapses. God damn it. Not again. <laughs> well. Yeah. He does he did just stab it, this spear into stone like it was nothing. Mm-hmm. I know. It pisses me off because I have to fix it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not my expertise goodbye. Mm-hmm. Well, you come here and speak of a war to my clan. I tell you now, you need not. The war, for all intents and purposes, is over. With my clan, the Inheimer, they 
have now finally fallen after many years of fighting. All came to one battle, one climactic battle in the end, where he destroyed our forces. I tried to fight him, my sons, daughters, but clenches his fist. They fell, and I lived dishonorably, as did my warriors, my people, barely escaped with my life. Now, the one you call Joran, he sets about eradicating the tribes. He burns villages, plunders burial grounds, and not even the giants are a match for him. Fights like a demon. I have seen him. Like him shred shield walls with his halberd like they were reeds in the wind. I have seen a great arrow of a storm giant strike him head on only for it to shatter. I have seen him descend upon seasoned warriors before they could even react. But whenever you think he is at his peak, he unleashes yet greater fury. <coughs> it is like... He seems to think about this for a moment. It is like... He is... It is like the bloodshed empowers his frenzy. Now... He has taken my capital. And now he even has my ships. Mm. Spent years building that fleet. Uh. I have come here. <coughs> my sole intention for coming here was to try and end a war that has already ended. And a war that he refuses to stop. My warriors are one thing. Even my children are one thing. But... Now he takes the war to innocent people. People who cannot defend themselves. It is... Not right. He looks up to you. I trust, as honorable warriors, you believe the same. Your country is different. You believe in strange things. You believe in eroding the land. You believe in building great, great civilizations. Yet I trust that this has not changed. Keeping my thoughts to myself. <laughs> Does he seem to be looking or expecting an answer, or is he just pausing? He is l expecting an answer. Oh. Maybe later. Hmm. <laughs> I have the answer that I would. I have the answer that I would give. Go right ahead. If you guys are happy to do so. He seems to be. Go for it. Generally focusing okay. on you and Florentina. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just here with the needle. Yep. Fair. And the gunk brain. You don't want me talking to this man. Trust me. Nope. You're fine. <laughs> you know me. You. <laughs> you might want me talking Solar, to you're not... <laughs> Solar, you're not here. Okay. You might want my character talking to him, but you don't want IRL me talking to him mm. right now. Uh, I am... Fair. I, I am... Uh... Non-verbally empathizing with his uh, disposition. So, the statement that I will make is... 
I think this so this will be succinct enough. A warrior seeks to conquer, not to murder. He nods. Good. I would ask that you take these stories to whoever your future ruler is. Let them know of what has happened. Let them know that Joran will never be forgiven. Let him know the man. Ah. Not a man. And with that, he steps away. <sighs> if it is any help to them, to making my people suffer less, I suppose. The only thing left for me is to go back to the north. Try and kill Joran again. Die. Oh no. I watch Made in Heaven when he says that. Just to make sure she's not going to try something, no. that's all. Fuck him. The needle goes her way. <laughs> <sighs> and what's just a sleep needle? Prexu, one of y'all like to die. <laughs> as, needle. As, mm. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to roll something. Am I gonna have to roll something too? No, I no, I don't think so. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Okay. We're gonna find out. Ruled one d twenty one right now. She's facing her sides. I guess we'll see. Okay. Okay. She manages to keep her composure and says nothing. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, looking I'm very it. sorry. <laughs> it was seventy. <laughs> 70, oh, to 100, highly, 70 to 100 70 to 100 she would do nothing you see anyway well 69 if you say nothing below, you, just... you will walk away um what can I can I uh I'll give I'll give you one thing Wooten since mm -hmm. you've been very quiet mm -hmm. uh do you have profession smithing uh blacksmith yes do you want to roll that or craft weapons? Which I high. I will roll my profession blacksmith. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, right. I love that I put all my ranks into it, and I have tools to improve it. Oh, so, yes. The make this man's spear. Even though you see him as an enemy of your duke, you begrudgingly admit that his weapon is of a craftsmanship that is something that you're not even sure you could replicate. Kicks a rock. In fact, I... <laughs> in fact <laughs> the one thing you can't identify is the metal it is made of. It's not steel, it's not adamantine, mm -hmm. and it's not mithril. Mithril. Not cold iron. No. It's not cold iron. The... Not t narqual or whatever it's called. Yeah. No qual. The one that Ragnael, the one that, yeah. that Ragnael's sword is made of. Yeah, no the anti magic. Qual. You don't know what it is. I don't. Hmm. Anyway. It's poison. Mm hmm. Viridium, it's possibly. It's uh, well, I mean, if it's Viridium, it could be. Yeah, I guess. Uh, with a 41, it's not Viridium. Yeah, it's not oh, Viridium. I understand. Yeah, not poison. Anyway. Damn. Anyway. Well, I'll let him go. He is, he is now walking away. 
Um, as he walks by you, Florentina, he says in giant, I'm giving you one chance to say what you've been holding your tongue about this entire time. Oof. Say nothing. Say nothing just to spite him. Fuck him. Mm. Oh boy! <laughs> Time for another D100. <laughs> Let's There's see. There's a it. lot of D100s going yeah. on right now. Hell yeah! <laughs> Ooh! I don't know where the split is. What's the split, Goody? It met. Same as me. So... She will reply in giant. Have faith in her words. As much as my... F <clears throat> for my... For my strife for it is in memory. My, my strife word remembers Alpha Alphanath. And she says that um, a bit more being like, uh, almost kind of to, to imply like, you know, that. Oh, um, and, and that and those, and those who die. The, and those who bled dry for it. He's in perfect charging. For range. for for bled, those who bled dry for its for its masters. God, he is he is just within charging charging distance. <laughs> uh, I, my uh, I could I could charge in large smack. Oh. Sorry, so I posted a bunch of post-it notes on that to kind of patch it up. <laughs> ain't, ain't that unfortunate that I'd, unfor I'd unfortunately have to stop you? Mm. I made a promise. I know. So. I know. He... Stop. So, like, uh, when, you, when he said that to you, he was... Uh, he was basically, like... Facing, like, he, he wasn't even facing you, he was looking at you, he was like, uh, he wasn't even looking at you, he was just saying that from the side as he walked past you. Yes. You know, that yes. anime he, 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 know, he knew that my, that, uh, he, he could sense that I was, mm. you know. Uh, but with that, when you mention that name, he turns to you, and looks into your eyes. I really need to think about what he's gonna say. Hang on. Could just say nothing. Could, think of it, if it helps Solar, think of it like this, how I how I'm having her frame it. It's like it's it's like, yes, my that yes, that tribe went to shit because of its masters, but I've put it past me to but I but I have since put it past me to trust in my comrades here to and the words of uh, you know Leona to put this to it to end this for us. Hmm. Okay. It is a forgive, don't forget, basically. Mm -hmm. Kind of, not necessarily. I mean, obviously. Don't forget like, like you did. <laughs> Something like that. Or well, something like that, yeah. Not exactly, but you know what I mean. The point he is it. going to say to you... The fact that you have... is my shame. You need not. 
You need not hide your disdain, girl. I know I was a terrible ruler. We, I was a terrible king. This is something that I know and am reminded of in your eyes. Bear this shame. Take what comfort you can in that. I suppose. As, as he walks off, I suppose we are both disappointments to our realm. With that referring to she the doesn't. North. As he continues to, as he walks away, she does not turn to look at him, but just says in giant, "Winter winds at your back." He doesn't respond. But as he gets to this guard here, the guard is still got their stance up and is unsure of what to do, but it doesn't matter because for somehow he fades out of existence and re-exists behind I have, her. I have to imagine it looks uh -huh. like a little snow, like a little snow, like, you know, I knew snow. it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking knew it. Yep. He was a teleporting he bitch. He walks over to this prenolation here, stands on the edge. And Drifts. yeah, you see him, you see him from where you are, teleport down this way to the, uh, to the, like the other Towards side the of the river, of the to the front. Yeah. And, uh, you see him, uh, walk away. For a split second, Reina, you look, Laurent Florentine does that thing where she just like moves her fingers and just almost kind of makes it into a fist. Like she wants to punch part of the rubble that he made, but you she resists. Me. I mean, nothing. She resists. <laughs> okay. Um, then so there's cleaning to be done. This scene. Mm, it's not over yet, but that's where we're going to end the session. Understood. All right. All right. Let me know when I can go back to making my meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. That's the end of that session. Oh my Whoa. god! Oh, oh, wow! Once oh. again, you guys surprise me. Oh. I think we're gonna fight him. That yeah. or ends up in chains. I did not expect you were just gonna let him go. We don't want war. It's I'm also not more... racist, well, you are. It's not our place to decide when to kill a fucking leader of a country we're at war with. <laughs> well, there's Man, also the aspect that now we've, well, you know, maybe there's going to have to be some role play there too, Wooten. Because uh, if I know, I know that you came from Joran, and if I know you're more in line with him, I might be a little worried about that. Because, as I said, a warrior conquers they do not murder and from the yeah. sounds of it yeah. he's not just it's like you are like he said the war is done yep this is not war this is wanton slaughter and that yep no that is evil. Mm. yep sure you know we're not necessarily a quote-unquote good nation but yeah. mm -hmm. nobody we're a lawful wants nation. to be evil. we're yeah, a lawful and no nation yeah so mm -hmm. you know and solar the uh... murder of people is not a good thing the uh, the way that she and he, the way that he and Florentine ended that conversation was just a sugared cherry on top of the sundae. Thank you. <laughs> that was so good. I'm very pleased. Uh, um, yeah. So, let me pray. This is very interesting because you, my my friends, have gotten a first hand update of the war in the north now. Yeah. You know what's going on. Mm -hmm. or you know what has gone on. And to just clarify with everyone, yeah, um, the war in the North uh, in some ways has ended. The war with his clan has ended. It has been wiped out. However, his clan is not the only clan in the North. Yep. There are many others, many who... Uh, 
yet raise so their arms. Are, they yet fight against the place you're from. Yep. Yeah. It was his just, land it, ownership. It just happens to be that Clan Eraheimar had the unfortunate problem of being the first in Joran's way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. If you think yeah. about it, if he's the ruler clan, I guess it makes sense they should put themselves out front, you know? I'm just saying. Yeah. So. It just happens to be they're the ones that are on our border, you know? Yep. Um, yeah. I have. I, I still have that map of the north. It's outdated. I want to update it, but I'll send you a little picture. You'll because, just have to uh, give me everything you want for the updates for the map. I yep. will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna even make we'll a thing. Because we'll get it this thing. way, though. The clan that our um, lovely deer visitor is from doesn't even consider that guy's clan to be their leader because they're just so far out. Yeah. They're just like, oh, it's it. a different. It's a different <laughs> clan. Yeah. It's a different. Clan. Mm -hmm. like, for example, um, only I, I think is their leader I and think the Frida. Before. Yeah, I think Frida mentioned this, but she. Uh, I think. I think somebody brought up place you're from to her, and she just said, "Yeah, do you know anything of the war?" And I, she just said, "Only stories." She hasn't seen it. She's the north is almost as big as place you're from in a lot of places. So yep, it's just turned it's on its side. Very wide place. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. very, it's very big. Yeah, especially just... when you're from the remote snowy mountains. Like fuck, I don't know yeah, what's me, going on uh... elsewhere. Like fuck, shit. Yep. <laughs> let me we sh have a let lot show you to continue. Mm -hmm. so, Anywho. Uh... For those of you who are tuning in, we hope you enjoyed this one. Even though, once again, the we were teetering on a knife's edge to get that sweet, sweet taste of paste. <laughs> anyway, maybe next time. Maybe next time. We'll see. Maybe next time. But until then, we will see all of you in the next live stream. So until then, uh, bye bye. Bye-bye.